Hey. <laughs> hey. Don't start, don't start this shit. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. Hi, hi Joe. Hi. Hey. No, hi. We're Hello. Hi. Hey, nigga. What up, fam? Hey, I let the right nigga in now. What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> hey. Hold up, man. We in now. Oh, hey, no, no. Hey, I'm good. Hey, my gunshot a little low, dog. Oh, it's real low. My gun shot a little low, dog. You got a different gun Turn now. Turn your volume up. Turn your volume up. <laughs> yo, you got, no, my volume is fine. You got a different gun now, yo. No, my volume is fine. <laughs> oh, there you go. Thank you. Parks, you try to be funny. You try to be funny. Yo, you, you try to be funny. funny. You trying to be funny, It wasn't on purpose, Don't but do I'll that. take credit for Don't it. Don't do that. <laughs> you should go to you now. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> you say air horn and the gun at the same time. <laughs> Stop, man. What? My yeah, phone don't stop ringing with your bullshit. Man, you really man. fucked Wait, what happened? Both our phones up. All right, come on. Nah, talk. Let's talk about it. Nah, what for real. Stop, what happened? Man. Stop. Why I got to stop being me because your phone is ringing? You don't think that's selfish as a <laughs> cis man? As a what? A cis man. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh, come on. All right, forget it, man. <laughs> All right, so, well, we start. All right, so we start. I didn't intro this yet, so uh, that's what everybody hit me and said. It's intro, you're out. Everybody hit me and said, "Yo, dog, you could have warned me. <laughs> you could have warned me that you were going to do that. Like my my phone won't stop ringing." Yeah, that's you. what everybody said. My, my mama said it. <laughs> my dad waited a day. <laughs> Who else? Well, what oh, did Pop say? Yeah. Oh, oh, Yo, what Pop, what Pop said? say? Well, my dad's call is the one that really hit on. That's the one that made me think about Stop it. Like, playing. oh, all right. I should think a little bit more. Because he didn't say nothing. But what he said was, yeah, I was riding with your brother. I was like, oh, shit. Brothers. Mm. <laughs> Damn it. Nigga, Trey. <laughs> you, Trey's grown. He's all right. He's okay. Trey, Plus, he's Trey, from a different Trey, generation. Trey, 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 he's from be, different Trey generation. 21 years old. Me and him and I can talk about anything in the universe. He's cool. Your 13 and 14 year old little brothers that are freshmen in high school that maybe aren't the tallest of gentlemen, right? You can see where that might get difficult or could be if you think about cruel children mm -hmm. and just kids that, you know what I mean? So yeah, true. That, that puts some thought into it. But anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I just want next podcast. We're not cursing in the first 10 minutes, 20 minutes, man. Oh, we're going 20 Every Yo, what happened? Your phone went off. Yeah, niggas yeah. wanted me. <laughs> they was looking for the god. <laughs> they nah, was, then they, then what's up, said, Aki? Y'all niggas used to be roommates. You got something you want to tell me? <laughs> like, yeah, I got a couple of those. See, and fuck that's, yo, you used to live there with the nigga, right? Yo, what's up, yo? Fuck fuck out of what's up, yo? See, none of them niggas was say it to me. Hit my phone. Give my text me. Give my give my phone number and tell them to call me with those jokes. See, I'm here now. <laughs> I'm, I'm here. Up, the fuck is niggas talking about? Like somebody would want y'all. <laughs> yo, I, 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 what are you talking? about? That's what you got from it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with this? So thing? now when the when word first got out, and I don't even know how to feel right now. Hey Parks, could you cut the air on? This is gonna be a hot one. I don't even pause. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> it was some people that were saying, No, we've been new. We could tell. <laughs> we've been new, Joe. You ain't, you know what I mean? And I was like, well, wow. What is that really saying? You got to think about it. They think that if my hot ass had niggas in the stash, <laughs> that the niggas would have been silent for 20 years of career? <laughs> wait, wait. That stumped me in the bed for like an hour. <laughs> Every girl has said every horrible thing about Joe that there is to say throughout my Except career. But the men, they're going to be quiet. <laughs> well, the men might. They, be, nah, I ain't going to say They've that. held me down, huh? Is that what they're saying? I, I was about I to say something. They did. <laughs> Dog, these niggas what? would be the first one in Hollywood unlocked. Men might have fought back. Saying they had a piece of some. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
The niggas boo box. You saying I got boo bop by my gay lovers? What you saying? Now I'm starting this podcast. I'm not doing this. Nope. No. No. Listen, I got a lot of sleep last night. I caught up on all the sleep. I missed out. I missed out on during the week being a little hot ass running the streets. I woke up really well rested. I cut that interview on bright and early, five in the morning. Felt like it was feeding the soul. I ain't gonna lie to you. It For felt. Real. It made my morning. I watched the entire, entire thing. thing. By the time I got to uh, an hour thirty, I felt like fuck. It's about to be too short. <laughs> yeah, but they, it, they, it, they, it, they, it was good. Like pause. It was two twenty. Two hours and twenty minutes. But by the time he got to cooking, because that game came at the end, uh, neither or both. Yeah. But and by the so time they slimy. got there, that's that, supposed to be a rapid that, fire game. It lasted an hour and a half. That Henny started talking. Yeah. He smoked that Zaza, weed. That, that Zaza. Zaza started talking. We're going to talk about all of it. Yeah. Come on, man. How could you not be ready to pot? Who said I'm not ready to pot? <laughs> How could you not be ready to pot? No, no, I see you, Balenciagas, nigga. I see what's I see going you. on. I, I see you. what's going on. Thank Slits you. in the knees I'm when it's glad. 30 degrees. I know what that. I know what that means. I know what that mean. No, we over here. Don't look that You're way. You're a rapper. We over here. Uh, Slips in the again. knees when it's 30 degrees. You're a rapper. Uh, You're not joining in with the African Came out of sentiment. video village Yo, with throw it. me one nah, of them. Nah, she did what he had to do today. Nah, he you did, did what he had to do you today. You did that. Uh, we not in you Rikers. did that. We not in Rikers no more. I, I, I touched down. I touched down. I'm home. It's just home now. He saw Ye with all the Balenciagas, uh, and he said, you know what? That's what it was. Yeah, that's yeah, what happened. Yeah, talk, yeah, yeah absolutely. Talk about you chiming in? Yeah. yeah that's and, what I do. And, and it looked like it could have been from the Ye pool, not just a regular Balenciaga. Uh, could have been Ye the Ye pool. pool. Ooh. It's different. That's different. I'm glad that he said that he saw the freestyle that we saw, and was like, nah, I need him that's on my album. I got it. That's hard. Nah, that's dope. And he, he delivered. Yeah, he did. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could have got on here and did some bullshit. Right. No, no, no. He and said, all right, I'm going to show like, my Like, you don't feel you too big to still reach back and grab somebody. Like, that's dope. That's dope. This man did what he had to do right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. I guess Soldier Boy did not. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> you heard the verse, right? The other Yo, that that was, yeah, you heard the verse, right? <laughs> that was not. Yo, that you heard the verse? verse? <laughs> I was like, all right, yeah, chill. <laughs> chill. Chill. <laughs> chill. It's gonna be a lot, there's a lot of reactions to his interview. Yeah. Yes. I was looking forward to about four of them. I got I got what I got out of that. What I needed. Let's just talk, man. Let's get to yeah, it. Yeah, let's talk. Yeah. Yeah. Nice set, though. It's a good set. Yeah. New job. It's 40 what? 40 what? 45, 46. Welcome to episode 46 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few really good guys. Parks is here today, as he should be. It's fucking his house. Yeah, uh, it's, it's just here. Crazy. Parks I just said, that's got to be dope to wake up and just walk downstairs and like just work from Fam. like home. Well, that's why we were saying he went home. out of the other with studio so bad. outfit on like Einstein. You ain't have to pick what to wear, none of that shit. Right yeah, there. sometimes I be wearing I, the same shit from like last pod, but then I gotta change because why would you want to know that? Parks better than me. I'd be down here in a robe. <laughs> Fuck y'all. I'm not even getting be a big Boy, ass. I'm not on plush camera. Ass robe. I'm y'all not, on not camera? looking at me. I gotta yeah. be fucked up. I'd be in a robe and slippers. Actually, I'm just naked. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, t- hey, this, this week, I don't know if that's, yeah, you know what I mean? It's not funny this week. <laughs> I gotta do some of that now. <laughs> oh, that's true. You guys. <laughs> and your shirt says, good guys wear black, and I'm a little bit uncomfortable now. I don't know. <laughs> I used to feel like you're wearing uh, black as well. Uh, black and white. <laughs> Yo, I wouldn't want you. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand this. Like, yeah, like you're not selective? I know, yeah, I know you niggas be feeling snackish. <laughs> <laughs> I know you be in your mind thinking you a snack, but I'm cool. Oh, I'm cool. Uh, Ish is here. Ice is here. Uh, young boys are back there in Video Village. How's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? What's going on? I'm good. Yeah. Chill, I'm good. Come on, wake up. Don't start. I'm happy now. Hey, 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 now. Hey, look, my phone ain't now. ringing, so I'm happy now. What man. happened? Come on, give it to me. You walk, happy, walk, nigga? walk me through. Walk me through. Come on, what happened? Fam, it was people that I haven't spoken to in years. It were coming out of checking the woodwork. Checking for the God. <laughs> They checking, was like, they was checking some, for him. They was on some, yo, you can, you can give him my number? No, it was, it was uh, up with your man. Pump it up, stream, soaring. <laughs> Pump it up streams out of here, through the roof, win win everywhere. It's gonna become an anthem. It was a win all. Around. I don't see the loss. 
I don't see lost anywhere, but go ahead. No, no, you right. But I'm just saying, go ahead, get shit man, it was just the phone would not stop ringing. I walked into work this morning on the walk in. Yo, that shit true. <laughs> Damn, it's it's seven thirty. Hot I'm, topic. Yo, who Joe fucking? <laughs> For real, think about it. Yo, get that nigga my number. <laughs> <laughs> think about Yo, it. Yo, you got it, fam. So I'm going to give you my man number. He told me to give you his number. All right. All right. All right. I'll, I'll Google voice phone him, whatever. I'll call him from the Google number, whatever that is. Here. <laughs> fuck what's going on with you? What happened? What happened with you? Your phone, too? You don't say. Yeah, nigga. He bumped up at you. <laughs> Wait, bit back. Hey, he looked mad at me yeah, about word. it. You good? You good? Yeah, I'm straight, man. Stop your butt. My phone kind of went off too a little bit. Yeah, don't say. Your buffoonery. You and know? my DMs, like every, everything, it's kind of, you know what I mean? My, so, friends, my friends didn't pay that shit no mind. I was like, oh, that's good for him. <laughs> <laughs> See the Some of the people that I assumed would know that that wasn't for real didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got to feel away, and then I felt away. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, hold up, dog. Or, well, not or, not only I felt. See, I kept. It was just a an emotional roller coaster, as Vivian Green would say. I felt the way about that, right? Um, but on the flip side, <laughs> wait, what am I saying? Please, what did I feel the way about <laughs> that? That they that people, the people that, that known should've... you, people that know you, that you thought would know better, didn't know better. They didn't. They didn't know. But on the flip side. A few people were hitting me to console me. Console? And then I was offended. Like, fam, if this is what I am, I don't need your consoling. <laughs> like, I'm flaming. The end. Like, why do I need you to tell me to Sam. feel? Like, I don't understand. I didn't, I was confused. <laughs> A few people hit me that I wasn't fucking anymore and told me they couldn't fuck me anymore. Whoa. And I was like, <laughs> I was like Whoa. Yo. but I was like, You're yo, lying, if I'm nigga. by now, <laughs> the field has expanded. There's way more out of the way. Yo, I already yo, wasn't the rules, fucking you no more. Yo, the rules, yo, I'm telling you, it's better over here. It's better over here, honestly. Round of applause for me. Not dead ass. <laughs> no, honestly. Not dead ass. I've never felt so loved before, like my whole life. In that one day, like, I see why. <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> Fuck y'all. I'm happy for you, buddy. Yeah, you know? I'm not. I don't think I. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. You can't go back. I don't want to go back to the streets. <laughs> Sorry. Them niggas is rough. I got like an ice grill smile. I got to be a gang member, being a frat, a Freemason. I got to be something to like. Over here, it's just like ah, chilling. <laughs> you in the frat? <laughs> Niggas offering me lunch. <laughs> Del Frisco's. They trying to fly you out. You know how much money I could save? They offering you hot dogs and sausage. Juking the system. <laughs> Fam. Juking the system. Buns. <laughs> Y'all playing around. In exchange for your buns. You have, you have, all right. Y'all have been in a club with a fake ID? Yeah. Same thing. Son. No, it's not. Is it? It's no, the it's same. Not. Oh, my God, what is, bro. You bro. wasn't supposed to be there. I know. I know. But what? But we was there. <laughs> chilling out. We was drinking. We was doing shit. <laughs> it's the same thing. And now it's like perfect because people can identify as what they want. Like, so I don't have to actually be bi to identify as bi. <laughs> Listen, y'all keep that shit, dog. I'm chilling. I'm Carlos, I'm going to hit you back when I feel like it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, so your preference is the, the Spanish dudes? Yo, so all my gay friends, all my gay family friends uh, called me. Fruit. And let me make myself clear to the LGBTQ plus community. Some of y'all didn't know because I keep this grill on my face. I fuck with y'all. I'm y'all, dog. I'm y'all. I just don't like everything that y'all like. But I'm down with y'all more than I am the straights. Fuck these straights. <laughs> like they need to know, really know who the allies are. It's me. Fuck these allegations that have existed. I'm down. Sorry. I don't even hang out with my straight friends no more. <laughs> these niggas is married, got girls. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I thought this through. You're not giving me back to the straights. No, no, no. Oh, so let me ask you a no. question. 
I want to ask you a question. No, I won't go. <laughs> I won't. I want to ask you a question. I won't go. <laughs> you're not going to make me go. <laughs> hey, hey Savon, you're writing, right? Do I have to go? You don't have to flag it anymore, Ice. It's, it's cool. You're right. I, yo, wait. Yo, so now they say I got mad, man. Hold up. Y'all making me mad. I'm getting mad. I forgot. So there's you a few it. of y'all out there, though. That didn't accept me. I seen it. I seen it. I'm the first nigga that came out that they was like, no. <laughs> we don't want you. We don't, we don't want him. Nah, Stay you good. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. They got to chill out. They can't do that to me. I'm down. Fuck that shit. Just take it slow with me. A few of my female friends started hating. <laughs> Yo, it gets deep. I'm telling y'all, it gets Wait, deep. Wait, all right. Now you got to explain it's, that. It got deep What yesterday. did they hate on? What did they hate on? They thought you was going to take eligibles from them. <laughs> <laughs> it gets... Yo, oh, now you competition. I'm telling you something. Fam, you got to tell me Yo, who it got you so off. deep yesterday. Y'all have no idea. No, you got to It was so many women you, no that started looking at me like the comp. You are the comp. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't pay these little man purses no <laughs> mind. <laughs> They didn't care about little man bag. Go ahead, Joe. You bullshitting. But now, nah, nigga, you might be at the games. What if Joe like athletes? <laughs> Wait. Hey, nigga, I will juke this whole system. Oh, my God. So some of my family friends call me. Like, family friends that have seen me from a child. Like, some of my gay family friends. Call me right now, dog. <laughs> I call up. You, you. Joey. The yo change? It was like Joey. No, no, no. It was cool. It's family friends. It's like family. It's my family, 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 family. Right? It's like Joey. The hell's happening out here? <laughs> I said, yo, dog, this would happen, but I ain't gonna lie, my phone blowing up, man. It's like they it's like they was waiting on me. <laughs> Niggas was like, Yeah, they've been waiting been waiting a while. <laughs> Wait, Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my family friends was like, I ain't gonna hold you. They've been waiting, they've been waiting a little. I said, really? I said, nigga, you've been gay bait. I said, wait, excuse me? <laughs> they said, you never heard that? I was like, no, I never heard that. I said, you know, you've been that. So, shit. <laughs> I'm stepping into my shit, man. I'm about to put my ice I'm stepping face into on. my round of applause for me, man. Round of applause for me. Not, not giving me back. I'm not going. Sorry, Ish. What you sorry, Ishin? <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> yo, you ain't see what this nigga did with the light, yo. Oh, fuck, man. There's nothing you can say to me. I'm here. We here now. <laughs> and this is the other part that confused me. I've only been telling y'all for at least two years in a row that I plan on coming out the closet. <laughs> Shorty was mad at you. I said that shit. Wait, woo. She was mad at me? Yeah. Why? No, not my shorty. Oh, who? Um, oh, girl, she said you came out too early. It was supposed to be 2022. Oh, no, we're going to unpack the reactions. <laughs> we got to unpack the reactions from these niggas. These niggas is fucking loco out here. <laughs> niggas was upset. I seen some of my ex. <laughs> it was tight. <laughs> Why are they so mad? <laughs> All right, don't worry about it, man. We're going to get to it. Let me take a little sip of this car. Hey. Yo, what's wrong with your brain, yo? Stop playing, man. This man different. He's different. Can we turn the light off? I'm about to catch a seizure over here. Nah, not yet. Oh, my God. <laughs> not yet. What's the setting? Nah, going? we outside. Keep my rainbow going. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> we here now. They don't let the right nigga in the club. <laughs> nah, bring my horns in. What's good, though? Um, what's goody? I'm just going to stay off the internet tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, mic check one, two, one, two, one, two. Come on, man. We got a pod to do. We're going to get to this Kanye shit real soon. I'm just stepping right now. Are you guys going to do the dance? No, I'm not doing the dance. Joe's going to do it. These guys are horrible, man. <laughs> yeah, do, do your thing. You guys are horrible. Come on. Come I'll, do the, on the I'll do the A from over here. All right. Come on, man. Get come on. tall 6'6 six, six ass over here. On the, on the, go ahead. <laughs> Azalea Banks said, I came out a few months too early just to spite her. If you don't know, Azalea Banks predicted that Joe Budden would come out of the closet in 2022. Not sure where she could have got that from, gotten that, but 
She was wrong. And she's right. I definitely did that a few months earlier to say, fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know shit. She was one of the ones that told me to go back in the closet for a few months. I think that that's disrespectful and shady. Mm. I thought she was a little shady with that one. Mm. Let me hit a gunshot for her being shady. Uh, there was some women uh, littered through my past that started just saying things. Uh, inspired more thought. More thought. It did inspire more thought. Who the people? Don't matter. Oh. Don't matter. One was from my Molly era, and anything that happened in my Molly era didn't happen. <laughs> today like I stand by that I'm sad that they don't feel that way as well <laughs> but actually they do feel that see they feel that too and that's why that Kanye interview Kanye right <clears throat> Kanye Kanye gonna get killed y'all I ain't let me just be honest with y'all yo can we cut this rainbow off this shit fucking my eyes I, they I, gonna I tear ask. they gonna tear Kanye up nah it's not funny because I, Kanye really... just said a lot of things he said what what he thinks and how he feels and as a dictator as an initiator as someone that yo this interview dog <coughs> this yeah. interview dog it was a lot of bars dog, in there. no the first hour and a half of this interview dog was the rest of this pod, damn near, could be about this interview. No, we could, we, we could, could do, do three pod. to four yeah, pods, two or three pods Easy. On this. Easy. solely on this interview. If you're a new listener or you're just joining us and you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about Kanye West's interview on the Drink Champs. Shout out to... Uh, Round of applause for Nori, man. Yeah, That's right. big, man. That's big. I was on the live and there was 180,000 people on it at 11 Ooh. o'clock. You know what I'm saying? In the live stream. So I can't imagine what his numbers are going to be like. Through the roof. I mean, the shit was no at... No, man, it'll break 10 million. Easily. Yes. Bro, it was at a million plus. It'll break 10 million. Today. Today. Or, well, wow. early, the morning almost at That's 2 million crazy. almost. Right now, the next day. Good for him, man. My, Good, for them. My, Good for the whole team. My brain was racing so much during this interview. I, I'm going to have to watch it again. Oh, yeah. yeah. I started to watch it again. But this I'm just going to talk. And you guys can watch. jump in wherever you guys feel like jumping mm -hmm. in. This interview for me, right... We all are products of our environment and our experiences. So all of our thoughts, uh, our train of thought, our processor comes from that. The data that was put in. Yeah, the data that's in us. Mm -hmm. So anything that we see here, we interpret it that way, right? Uh -huh. When I look at interviews, for me, it takes a lot of strength to cut all of that off. Now, let me start with, I don't look at interviews often. <coughs> when I do, it's because someone powerful is speaking yeah. that I want to hear from. And when you're listening to somebody that powerful speaking, you want to cut off whatever processor you normally use, right? Because you'll never be able to understand what the fuck these niggas are talking about mm -hmm. by your processor. These people are generally are normally people that uh, are have been overexposed <laughs> to things mm -hmm. that the general public may not have been. For Kanye, for me, he's the one where I really have to go out of my way to shut down my own thoughts and interpretation of what he has seen and felt and gone through right and try to try and see it through his lens because mm -hmm. he's already nuanced and he's already complex and he's already all of these things like he said in the interview i'm the guy that can compete with drake at the highest level and can compete with virgil at his craft right. at the highest level i'm the i'm the one guy mm. he said a lot boy was he talking he was talking he was talking right but i want to start before the talking okay <clears throat> Because these interviews, for me, because I'm in this field, is psychological from way before the camera cuts on. Elliot hit me like two days before this interview dropped. And Elliot said, yo, Nori got yet. Mm. I saw Nori tweeting stuff like it feels like Christmas or something like that. And Nori tweeted, 
It feels like Christmas. After Elliot already told me that, round of applause again for my brother, Nori. Because that's what that feels like. I love that shit, yo. I know some of y'all think I'm a hater. I ain't. I love when, when, when people do, like, what they're destined to do. Right? But I hey, Elliot back, and I was like, so what? <laughs> like, I don't care about this. Let me know when Drake <clears throat> gets somewhere. But that's Joe from Joe's brain. Joe's brain is, I don't want to talk to people really a lot. And that's why I move Elliot out of media wars because Elliot is Lil Wayne and Jay-Z and Elliot is cemented. I don't care. It don't matter who you talk to or don't don't talk to. Sway, it don't matter. Like, y'all niggas don't matter. Y'all are legends. Move. Nori is creating his legend in this field, right? So while the media guys always get mad at the big fish, the big fish rappers that pick certain media guys, I don't because it's the psychology in it. Mm-hmm. These niggas always land where they supposed to. Mm. It tells you something about their brain and how they want to be seen and depicted and who they want to talk to and where they feel comfortable at. Kanye couldn't have done this with Elliot. No. He couldn't have done this with me. He couldn't have done this with Charlemagne. We've seen that walk through the bushes already. It wasn't this. Right. He couldn't have done this with Rogan. He did this with Nori, who was out before him, who's managed by Biggs, who's close to Dame, who there's a like intricate family they tree. They got records together. Woven. You know, they talked about that briefly. Man, fuck them records. It's no. a I'm saying his- like, yeah, there's history there. The records, niggas can make records and hate each other. These two is tied in. So it started there for me. It was like, wow, never seen Kanye smile so much. He was comfortable. He was comfortable. And I mean, it was like he was happy to be there. You never seen his teeth so much. This is the first time in his whole career where I was like, are those veneers or not? (laughs) I've never seen his teeth so much in one setting. I haven't. Right? Fucking. And I know that the Henny creeping up. (laughs) <laughs> no, just the fact that he felt comfortable enough in there to start taking that many shots, mm-hmm. that says something. Mm-hmm. The fact that he came in there with no security, that says something. Like, Nori's like, yo, he ain't have no security when he came. I right. know, but he did. Maybe. Maybe. But no, no maybe about it. He, he said he was with Larry Hoover, son. That ain't security, nigga, but I get it. Fuck if it ain't. Shit. Fuck if it ain't. Fuck if it ain't. All right. but That's better than any security company you gonna hire in the world. It's better. Nori said, this is why this shit's so great. Nori said, yo, I hired security because you too big of a responsibility yeah. mm-hmm. on, a liability my, on my on hand. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. He didn't say I hired it for you to walk around because I was worried about you. No. Hey, these three hours you here with me? Mm-hmm. Nah, dog. Nothing can't happen hey, to you, nigga. Hey, that speaks to, in case you be needing a reminder, and he told us here that we be needing a reminder. He said, I got to remind y'all who I am because some people forget that speaks to who's on your hands and who you really dealing sure. with. Mm-hmm. He told us plain as day who his peers were, some of the things he's battling, and told us what he's worth. Just shortly after telling us he was in debt, he told us so much shit. And that's where the second part of the psychology starts for me. You can't watch this interview with him one time and pick up on everything he's saying because no, it, no. You, can, possible. you can see in real time here how his brain operates all over the place, but in a good way. It's, it's moving fast, though. There's a, too, a lot of information to, to process it's in a short quick. period of time. And then he told us, as I was thinking this, he told us, he said, I'm the guy you put the dinosaur bone in front of, and I'm going to draw the dinosaur for you. You might not see it. Just put the little, a little speck of the bone there. I'm going to draw it out. That's the visionary I am. That was a really great way to explain his scatterbrain thinking to a kindergartner. Hmm. And then that's where the third part of my psychology came in because Kanye clearly is one of the people that if he's not in a space where he can express himself in free thought, just then he's going to be taken wrong. He's going to shut down. No, he's going to shut down. Yeah, he's going to be And he's going to be taken wrong because he might not shut down. He'll keep going with whatever sentiment he's trying to convey even if he's conveying it wrong. 
But in this space where he's able to speak freely, and boy, he hit me over the head with this one. Look at the difference in, right? Look at the difference in what he said when he was speaking up about women's bodies and abortion laws and rights. And he got a lot of backlash because shut the fuck up. Stop telling women what to do with their bodies, Kanye West, in this structured setting. But he said the same thing here in a setting where he was able to explain his thought. And boy, did it it sound totally different. It It sounded like some real genius shit if we get to the context. No, I'm not telling women what to do with their bodies. I want to offer us another another option. Or I want to expound on why they want you to do that. And why they pushing you to do that? Like a lot of that, he's not the first person I heard say that. Like a lot of um, black, I don't even know what to call them, uh, uh, thought provoking people. They've really pushed the uh, yo in the black neighborhoods. We got Planned Parenthood. Mm-hmm. They want to give you condoms, right? They want to push abortions. When you go to the white neighborhoods, they got uh, what's the shit where they help you make a baby? Fertility clinics. Fertility clinics, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They got fertility clinics throughout the white neighborhood. Deep. But they got tons Deep. of fucking Planned Parenthood in our neighborhood. Mm-hmm. They want you to use condoms. They'll give you all you want. And then they want you to get abortions. Mm-hmm. Plan B, all that other shit. Because they want to stop the production of black babies. But in the white neighborhood, they pushing for y'all to have more and more and more babies. Kanye. That's, a, that's deep, my nigga. No, mm-hmm. it's super deep. It's super deep. When he said that shit, it, just, it, it, it was just a quick glimpse into how overexposed he's been. I know it because I've been slightly exposed and my brain is forever altered by it. Like just knowing what's out there. When he said, oh yeah, plan B and the lady that invested in that is the KKK. And blah, no, blah, 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 the lady blah, blah. that created the, cre- the plan B pill. It's population control. And you can't say that without me now thinking of everything. It's just said condoms, liquor stores, uh, cigarettes. Mm-hmm. All that. It's all population. Diet. All it's all population. Mm-hmm. Diet. Mm-hmm. Chicken. Yeah. Don't get me started, man. My brain was all over the place in this. As was his, though. Mm-hmm. Like, I love that. I like that Nori let him do that. Nori let him mm-hmm. go. He ain't we don't him. typically see that from Nori. Mm-hmm. I love that. I think if he would have came here, we would have had no choice but to let him go. Course. His brain is too scattered. I know. And we, genius to, for to, you to hold not him, let him in go. a structure. You have setting. to let him go. You gotta let him you go. You can't sit there with, with whatever you had written down because the shit that he's his brain is gonna go off of that, and now we're gonna be talking about something that was that was nowhere near our brain. Like I just think with him, right? One, I think he's a genius in so many different aspects. Yes. He says admittedly two or three times in this, yo, I'm not good at math. I'm not good I'm at not reading. Good at I'm reading. not well read. I'm not right. no, I'm not good at reading. It's yeah. a reading well read. Yeah. Well read means I ain't read a lot of books. Yeah. I don't read that well means I ain't really that. I'm not that good. I'm not a good reader. I, I don't count that's, well. That's not my strength. He said I don't count well. But all this other shit, my mind it's like the beautiful mind. In all of these movies we see about these geniuses and the mm. shit and how they brain be thinking. You can see it come across in this interview. But that's what I was this saying This shit is to you. amazing. And I, and I don't want us to get off course, but some of that point is what I was saying to you about homeschooling when we was having our fight. We, that's what I got from what... You, you heard that example he brought up about school. watching his, watching watching, uh, watching the child do the homework? The uh, apples? Yeah, yeah, the apples. That was they my tripping. point about the they homeschooling. Tripping. And What I, he said about college, as soon as he said it, I was like, yeah, dog. All this bullshit that they tell you that's awesome about the college experience. Imagine if you was just closer to love and your network and your family and just from the rip. Like, that nigga was talking. I'm going to say this, right? Watch it again I if saw, you missed it. He was absolutely correct in a, a bunch of his points. Kanye West is worth $9 billion per him. He has the authority to be able to do that. He has the freedom to be able to do that right so when you and i had the argument about schooling i only said that the kids suffered socially is what i said because that interaction that you get from different personalities is vital in your development but my counter to but, that, my counter to that though is kobe bryant how he suffered socially says who the people around him so, he had friends all over the country. He was bigger in China than he was over here. He spoke eight languages. Like he, he had a network 
that he built from his and nomadness, if, I guess, or if from you being able to live over here, go over here. My dad was over here. My dad traveled with me, mm-hmm. and I picked up every picked culture. Up from everything. Hey, when Luca was watching the game, he started talking to that nigga and whatever, and, and blah, whatever blah, blah, that is. Yeah. And Luca was like, oh, Yao Ming, same story. Like, that could be, that could come to fruition. I'm maybe. agreeing, but Kobe Bryant, in his difference, was a genius. Kanye said when he sat with Kobe, they talking about Scottie Pippen. He's showing him Scottie Pippen on the screen. Right. Where he's moving his feet. And he yeah. said, yo, fuck the long arms. He's trying to master Scottie Pippen's but, footwork. Kobe yes. Bryant read the referee books. But everything that Kanye's saying, Ish, and I'm glad you brought that point up uh, about the Scottie Pippen shit. That's where I was going next. Everything Kanye said here, and even in the Fabio record I love, uh, from, to my kids, 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 have kids. That's one of the most powerful lines for me. Because do you know how far out you got to be thinking Mm-hmm. And do you know how much you have to consider for your actions in 2021 to affect to move children. different? Mm-hmm. This for my kids, 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 mm-hmm. kids, right? Everything that he's saying and this shit said to me, it ain't about me and it ain't about my kids now. We usher in the next generation. That's the right. Jews have a community where it ain't no nannies. Our, it's our grandmas. Mm-hmm. And I think it goes different. I'm like, okay, no, nah, he's talking. He's yeah. talking now. This just goes different. If some things happen different, Kobe brings up a genius that we all recognize as a genius, Mm -hmm. and he finds a genius way to point out why the thinking was genius. Because you look at something so obvious. Best defensive small forward of all time, arguably. Mm -hmm. Look at how long his wingspan is. Should have been real easy to do that. No, bitch, nigga. It's not. Look at his feet. Mm -hmm. Right. And no one was thinking about that. The normal person is not looking at feet nope. when you're looking at that type of anomaly, right? Indeed. He just was going, man. Right. He was going. He's different. He said he bought a whole bunch of acres for future development-ish last week, two weeks ago. You came in here told me about your homeboy that was buying some acres. We seen Moneybag, your girlfriend, buy him some acres. And some people out there just buying Lakers. And stupid niggas are sitting back saying, well, what the fuck was the point of that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It gets deep. <laughs> Again, this can get deep for our great. Deep. This can get deep for our great grandkids, nigga. We sitting around just posting pics mm-hmm. and and on Insta Live. Mm-hmm. This could get crazy soon. <laughs> if you thinking about that, you know, like an hour in, mm. I really started getting a little scared. Why? So was he? The so was he? That said five times, yo, they gonna get me. Oh y'all think? Oh they, yeah. Oh y'all think they wasn't? Y'all thought I was it's, coming here to play? He yeah. said that. Mm-hmm. It's like, on his mind. I kind of, I kind of got happy, and then I got mad when they start doing the typical uh, 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 dream champs games because it took him out the serious bag a little bit. It took him to the industry bag. That nigga was talking about the world. Uh huh. He was talking about the world. He was talking about the levels of. Every my nigga, that nigga was saying some shit. He was. I, I, I like that they broke it up though. Like I'm Sam, no, no, no. Again, I said I was happy and sad because he could have talked about this to me because not for nothing for five hours because my brain be over there. Not for nothing. The ministry questions just went into uh, yeah. They would, side, yeah, he, side he, went, he, went, he took <laughs> off. On he took off, but he, he stayed in that lane. Like when we, beans versus blah blah blah. Like that's industry shit. That nigga started talking. About, I was so glad, fam. He I'm glad he, they did that. Yeah. yeah. Like all jokes aside, because we don't know where he would have took this. Cause even in that ish, I know you saying I know you saying it was industry shit. For me, it was more into it was more the than psychology. That. It was it was, more it was more info into the psychology of this madman that we'll never truly understand. Like that was such a great way that he broke down. I feel like a lot. I feel like me and this guy think similar shit. I do, man. We just come, it just comes out. It, yeah. it just comes out a little different. But like when he started talking about when he started making his picks, they were all tough choices. Tough. Yeah. But he said, yo. For me, it's the people that added to the ilk of it. When Scarface did this, mm-hmm. it changed forever. When he wrote yeah. the words. When such and such things. did this, it changed forever. They added to the flow of it. The, mm-hmm. It just changed. Originally. That's when I appreciate you. See, now, if you don't get that, if you sheep, it's tough. But what he's saying is, the same shit I said when Keith Sweat was battling Bobby Brown. Mm-hmm. I know what you did, dog. But it's me. Mm. I'm me. My soul is just spread out all out through this shit. R&B don't exist today without my tiny contribution that the masses don't know is, is, is much bigger than tiny. It's true. Right? But that's basically what he said. And then he got into it. And we're going to get into it. No, nah, he wasn't playing. 
Before we get into that, I want to say that I, too, am from the school of, if I'm just saying the truth, it ain't no beef. Right. I agree with that. Yeah, I, I like agree that. with that I like a lot. that he said it. I kind of am suppressed in, in thought because so many people feel like it's beef. Just saying how they he feels. They just saying the name is beef. That's right. why. Right. They think as soon as you yeah. hear it, you say another person's name, it's automatically Yo, beef. Yo, just saying the name ain't beef. It's not. Me putting you in a text thread ain't beef. Me telling you that you copied my shit ain't beef. It's just saying, yo, dog, you copying. <laughs> what? And there's nothing wrong with that. And then he credited the people, the forefathers to him of this him, Cuddy, uh, Rocky. Mm-hmm. Uh, Might have been another name he said. He was like, Travis, though, you my guy. You family to me, but you copying, boy. <laughs> he said it. Yeah. He said, yo, he's a combination of me, Cuddy, and Rocky. Right. And it's true. Yeah, he's, and there's nothing wrong with there's that. There's nothing wrong it's with not, it. No, you can nothing, still be great. We talk about that with all of when we when we had our Nicki Minaj. We said, oh, you know, it came from Little Kim. Like, yes, people do take. That's what they supposed to do. Exactly. You're supposed right? to take from but there and is, build on it. If I'm a basketball I, player, I'm a pull from Steph. I'm a pull exactly. from this person. I'm a pull from this person to try and get the best possible game. But I want to make myself clear for the audience out there that that maybe has been here for a little while that. Can't really get what I'm... Look at this. This is what I'm saying. Kanye can say this. And he could talk like this. If he's living up to Kanye. And the picture that Kanye has for himself. A big part of why I was extremely hard on this man. Is because I could hear in the music... For a few albums, you wasn't on your shit, dog. Yeah. I was saying it. But the public couldn't see it, but I could see it. You no, wasn't the public on, said it. They didn't say it. They didn't say it. No, they was shit. They on didn't. The last they couple didn't albums. say it. Listen, when uh when uh Pablo came out, and Pablo was a great album. Some joints on there. I said it on Pablo. I didn't wait. I didn't. I didn't say it on Yeezus. I didn't wait for the gospel shit. I didn't say it over. I said it when it was popping still. But when you call and design and you're looking for that and I see what's going on over there, I don't respect it really. Not from your brain. We can't get the music that you make when you in your bag from nobody else. So when Donda came, I could hear that dog. I could hear that dog. Yeah. Guess what? You can't half-ass that. Came right in here and said it, right? Masterpiece. Yeah. It didn't, I didn't need to hear him say it, but boy was I glad that he said it. He said, yo, it been a lot of niggas playing. Donda would stop playing. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. Y'all didn't hear that. I heard it. Now him saying it. Y'all didn't hear that in Donda. Y'all didn't see it. Yo, y- that was what it was with Kobe den- with, with Kobe's wife denying the uh, license. No, nigga, you can't use that. That's what I sat there and thought watching this. Yo, imagine the ideas that this psycho nigga had that he didn't get off. He made that look like that without that. Y'all have to stop playing with him, but only when he's him. See, that's where that's where we get a little different. That's where I start looking at you like you said Tata looked at you, nigga. Only when you you am I looking at you like that. You can't half ass it and then come out and diss Drake. I you think- can't you can't you can't put this MAGA hat on and then come out and be surprised when niggas are angry at you. Well, we angry at you not because you're Republican, but because that hat symbolizes some things and it's tra- tra- traumatic and triggering for some other shit. It's not because you're a Republican. You think we don't know niggas that's Republican? Right. See, but even in your creative genius, that's why I was mad at you, nigga. Find a new way then to represent yeah. that. To find a new way to do it. That's beneath you. Find a new way to do it then. Rep that shit. Hey, that shit you said about cutting your hair. Oh my God, that shit was prolific. Yeah, that got me. That shit was that prolific. Got me. It just spoke to his genius. It just spoke to his genius. It spoke to who he is. Yeah. See, and, but that's what I mean about when dudes are them. When dudes are them. Don't come out here with some shit that somebody else made with a slogan somebody else had that's triggering. No, nigga, you, you. You can even find a fresher way to do this. Because he wasn't even wrong when he said that. Hey, y'all voted for Shorty. We ain't seen her since. Mm. He got into that. He never backed down from it. That's what, And that's when I was sat stuck in the bed. Because he didn't change his stance. But boy, it looked different. It felt different. Him saying, what do you say? Uh, Damn, what the fuck did he say? He said, no, no, I'm still on that. It just ain't no hat. No, he said it. He said, I got it. I mean, it ain't no hat. It's somewhere tucked away. I ain't doing that, but I'm still on that. I was like, look how fly that sounded. 
<laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> you don't have to agree with it. Take yourself out the mix. Take your environment. Take what you grew up on out the mix. Mm. You don't have to agree with that. But if you put yourself in the mind and shoes of him, look how much flyer that sounded than anything he said at TMZ, than anything he said at Joe Rogan. Put us with us. And let's talk about it. That's what the, that's what needs to happen. Put us with us. It's a conversation that and needs to And let's have the happen. conversation. And when you're talking to us, you get an opportunity to really, really delve into why you feel this way. Right? Mm -hmm. So people will take the surface sentence. And we all know in the media, you can say 15 paragraphs, they're going to take the one triggering sentence and that's going to be the headline. Of course. Most dodos don't read the real 15 paragraphs. They read the headline. And that's what they run with. Mm. It's designed that way. Nigga, we hit yeah. today and we opened up a pod based on a headline. Right. Right? We we opened up a pod based on a, a mm -hmm. 40 second clip that's been circulating all over the internet. With him, I think his brain is just so different that when you get an opportunity to speak to him and he gets an opportunity to articulate all his points and convey all his points, you'll be baffled. Dog, I was fucked up. I'm a I'm a different type of nigga. I'm a different type of thing. This nigga had me sitting there like I think with Ye. Like, the thoughts come to his brain so fast and they're so, like, sporadic that while he's talking... He thinking something else. He thinking something else. And it's coming off almost... Because I think that's what happens a lot. He'll like, Even when he was on his Twitter shit, he say it and it, it he's not saying it the way he's thinking it. It's well, he like, can't he can't he, convey he, it right. in a manner... I do that a lot. Like, there's a lot of times where I'm thinking, even in here... I'm thinking it a certain way, and this is live happening. So I'll be speaking, and it's like it's hard. To, it's hard to it's hard to articulate. It's hard. it's hard when you got a lot of things going on, especially yeah. when you're passionate about. No, a no, subject. no, 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 stop, man, just stop, 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 stop right there, stop right there. Yes, that's true. It's hard, but niggas' brains don't work like that. What you mean? Their brains don't process that fast. His brain processes differently than the normal brain. Yeah, uh, absolutely, absolutely. Yes, it's hard for absolutely. the normal person. To juggle a lot. That nigga's a genius, bro. His brain clearly He's that times times a lot. Yeah. I'm, but I'm saying it's plain as day. It's like mm -hmm. ob. It's it's jumping out mm -hmm. that this person's brain operates differently than the normal person. Yes. 100%. And when that happens, you know what the normal person does, or what society stand put societal you in standards and will you crazy. do. Call they will crazy. put you in some type of box, and, call and you when crazy. they put you in that box, it's going to provide some type of PTSD. You heard them a million times say, no. "Yo, people I love." Every time I say some real shit, they say, "Oh, it's the episode. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's yeah. manic. Oh, we need meds. Oh, we need pills." No, bitch, you don't get to tell me when I need meds because you don't even know. You think normal me is on some shit? No, nigga, my brain get weird. He said that shit. <laughs> Fam, this nigga said, a declaration of insanity is a form of censorship and control. I wrote that shit down. Because the second that you don't think like the masses, uh -huh. they stamp you crazy. Right. What did Chappelle tell us? He said on they Twitter, stamp you Chappelle, crazy. exactly what he said. The, the minute with the Comedy Central shit, when he was like, yo, I'm off this shit, I gotta get out of here. First thing they did was... Was set up a, a crazy, crazy campaign. They set a crazy campaign and stayed. Yeah, he went on Twitter and said, "Yo, uh, Chris Jenner, stop playing with me. <laughs> stop sending them doctors over here to try to label me crazy." He said this. This dude, dog. Nah, he, he different. But this is the crazy part. When you get to a certain level of financial freedom, mm -hmm. now you uncontrollable. Right now, he's uncontrollable. Like, I was feeling scared for this nigga. Like, throughout this interview, like, yo, is he going to keep going down the rabbit you hole? You heard what he kept saying, yo. They're going to keep me. going down yeah, the Bob, rabbit Bob hole. Bob Marley told me. Like, yeah, yeah like, that's that. where he I was. He, Michael, when he started talking to Michael Jackson and the print and all, dog, I started being like, whoa, fam, you got to chill out. Mm. And that's a shame that you got to chill out. But, again, he's at a place financially, if he's really worth $9 billion, uh -huh. he's at a place financially where I could say what the fuck I want to say. He talked about the games that the fucking companies is playing. When he talked about his um Sunday service uh, album, he was like, yo, unless you type that in all the way, all mm -hmm. the way, the you will not find the shadow band and all that. And that's, mm -hmm. It won't pop up. Uh -huh. To the very last like, letter, it right. won't pop up. A lot of niggas might know that, but won't say it. His little they shadow band ran, he went on. That shit uh -huh. was deep. Oh, man, it struck a chord with me. That shit was deep. And Nori even more struck a chord with me by saying, what is that? What you mean? 
That was deep for me. That was deep. Because while that may be common to me, a lot of people don't never even heard. There's that. so many means. people that are in the actual profession where it could that don't know you, what that means. That no don't know what that is. We out here thinking, yo, we got all the apps and the tools, and they thinking the new ways for you to not. Mm-hmm. Yep. Or no, to control you. Show you that's what a form of control. Yeah. Show, 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 yes, show that's you what control. they want you to see. No, or no, no control. Like We're gonna control oh, yeah. you. Well, that's what the, that's all intertwined. It, it just went to our last pod. Like, yo, fam, we can control you. Mm-hmm. We'll we'll learn you something, boy. Like literally, we will learn you something, boy. Mm-hmm. Play around if you want to. Nah, he was going, dog. He was going, and I mean, I'm for me, it was a lot more interesting because I know a lot of the names that they were just dropping. I really like the name drop counter that they <laughs> that was have. Hilarious. I let love me, that. No, let me tell I you what he did. Missed a few names, but I love that. And this is what I think he set out to do. I think some of his things that he did, he had an objective. Like, fam, when you saying, yo, I'm sitting here talking to Elon, don't play with me. Yeah. I'm, he let you know. I'm not the CEO him. of Balenciaga came and picked me up. Mm-hmm. Stop playing with me. Well, he made it a point. I'm separating myself from y'all niggas. Stop putting me in the same category yeah. as these people. Let me tell y'all who my living peers are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the people that I'm sitting eating dinner with. Yeah, it's and the all, head it's of this short, company and this company, they used to work for me. It's Bruh. a really, really short yeah, list. Yeah. Well, he ran that down. He's he, like, yo, they used to work for me. Right. He, he made a point to say, yo, when Jay-Z and him and I hit all of them on the group text, I clearly said I'm worth more money than everybody in this text. Put together. Put, Put together. together. Jay was in the text. Like, stop playing with me. I think he, he went out his way to let us know, yo, no, no, no. It's me. It's me. You get what I'm saying? Like, yo, it's me. Even the shit when he Why starts- Why is it frowned upon for people to say that? What? It's me. It depends on the context in which you say it. They got to really be them to say it. No, I just yeah. think I think it depends on the context in which you say it. Sometimes it's applicable that you got to let a nigga know it's you. But when you keep saying it and you keep saying it, it's like, all right, nigga, you run into the ground. We know it's you. Right. You get what I'm saying? It depends on where, where you, when you're saying- The context. What, yeah, yeah. The context. Yeah. Why, why are you firing back at me like this? If you're calling me crazy, but I'm worth more than all of you, how crazy am I? It's a possibility. But if someone's just like shitting on you or making a joke at you and you say, yo, mm-hmm. fuck you, I'm worth more than you. It's he did. like, all right, dog. He did. He came in here and said what I told you all a few weeks ago is that Drake is on a different stratosphere when it comes to selling records. Some of y'all didn't understand what I was saying. Dog, what, what I wanted him he, to do. He, he told you. <laughs> what, what I wanted him to do, because he contradicted himself a tad bit. When he starts talking about us as black men, we need to come together, blah, 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 blah. He says that, right? Uh Then you wouldn't perpetuate the Drake shit. But what he did speak on is, fam, this nigga's talking about killing me. Mm -hmm. He's talking about taking, I got my kids got to hear this nigga talking about killing their father on a song. He's taking it too far. But then he did say, (laughs) he did come back around and say, yo, this is professional rap. Like no, he, he was talking he about said, the professional rap no, but piece I'm saying, and how that, calculated it was. It was like, even yo, in that, that, that you're not doing nothing to me. Point. I'm not doing nothing to you. It was There's, profound. We are worth too much money to too many he said, people. Too many people make money off even, us. Yeah, like yeah. ain't nobody doing nothing. That but point was profound. It was. He was. again. Which part? The professional, professional rappers. Rap. What well, was profound about it too? We worth too much money when men like him are able to explain certain very nuanced things on a kindergarten level Mm. it's profound to me his framing of what professional rap means Mm -hmm. to the people who would have no idea by design Uh was perfect he said things that I've been trying to tell people for years and it just never the strategy of the way that they've been barbing throwing barbs at each other you wouldn't get it because it's professional now. This ain't mixtape time. Right. He explained it. He said, it's Drake with a team uh-huh. at Science Say, yo, I'm going to buy a house down the street sending from Sending DMs. Yeah. I'm buying real estate. I'm going to DM everybody um, in your much, family, all the females in your It's much deeper family. than, see, and when you put that to uh, public consumption with people that don't understand, you know what they get? They get, oh, Joe just rapping away, rapping his little heart out. He's just rapping to the air. No, I'm rapping to the biggest artist in the world to say, get off me with my best weapon. <laughs> and like he said, <laughs> and, and I don't have look, the resources look, that you have. It's different. And like, like it's he's different. Same way, and you kind of said this before too, when you were talking to Drake. Like, just like Kanye said, we're professional rappers. Y'all might not get what we're saying, 
But you and he I know it. what's going on. He said it. Like, mm-hmm. I'm talking to you that's, in a way that when you hear it, that's you know what I'm saying. That's a casual hit, listener. It might go right man. over their head. That's an assassin. Well, they might think it's just and a bar. The way that it's designed, it's not for the public to know that the assassins are the assassins because then you would be scared. It would cause civil unrest. If you walked out your house and knew every killer, like you could see him, like you knew who was who, it would cause civil unrest. That little Hitler point that he made, hey, when they came to get Hitler, they set up the fake tank here. They did this over here. You know how much you had to do, Bin Laden? Same. Like you had to do shit. Like you can't just come out and fuck with niggas that are that professional. I know that. Mm-hmm. To to be able to explain that to a civilian, let's say, is was beautiful. That was beautiful. How many times have y'all heard Joe say, yo, you know what's beautiful about retirement? For some reason, really ticks me off when they started calling me a rapper. <laughs> How many times you heard me say that? How many times you, have you heard me say, Fam, did you when people said? call me a yeah. rapper, it's the same as saying for some nigga. reason, it's, just, it's offensive it to is. me. It is. It mm-hmm. is. It puts me in a box. It, it puts a ceiling over up. me. It no. makes them look at me a certain way. Yo, I know y'all want me to rap again, but even if I rap, don't fucking call me no rapper, nigga. You know how much more than that I am? Yeah, it does. He said, yo, they call you rapper, you a nigga. Uh-huh. Yep. And rap. I said, well, that's at, it. No, no, no. Rap that as gets a, right to the point. He did. He <laughs> said, yo, he rap. Got right to, but wait, stop, stop. That's Back real. to why Parks asked me why I think he was so profound. In the professional rap. No. Point alone. Period. Yeah. I, but I was. Oh, yeah. And this is. Pro- oh, I got yeah. it. Rap but, yeah. And this is in that professional rap point. Yeah. Hey, y'all. I'm telling y'all because I'm worth more. Then, then everybody. Then your CEOs. Stop and, fucking and, calling me and, a rapper. And they right. still look at me like a, like a rapper. Like a nigga. He explained it better he to did. me than Jay-Z saying, yo, dog, I'm still having a hard time purchasing property and art because still nigga. And Jay killed that explanation. He did. Kanye explaining it was different. And I really hope that that was understood. I, I really hope. So. I do. It's, but that's how deep it is for me. I think it was understood, and a lot of y'all are okay. I'm positive. Everybody is going to get. Y'all are okay. Out of this interview, no one's going to get the nuance. They're going to get the Big Sean, the Just Blaze, and All the of that. controversy Fam, and shit. The Drake. This nigga said, yo, every single time I hear the word rapper, I think they're saying nigga. One, rapper as a genre of music has not really been accepted by the powers that be in the masses. No, it's been accepted it's as been a genre. It's, we haven't been. We yeah, haven't. No, yeah, we, right. I know. we ain't been. But because you're a rapper, you get put down here. Yes. If I'm Celine Dion and I sold 100 million albums, mm-hmm. I get revered. Mm-hmm. If I'm fucking Little Baby and I sold 100 million albums, they look at him like a rapper. Right. They look at her like he just a said, grandiose he was at, artist. He said he was at the game. And they put him on the jumbotron and, and they said hip hop artist. Hip hop artist. It's the reason. And he's no, like, fam, I'm not that. It's the reason no one has to explain to me why one podcast will get 100 million and I won't. Mm. Nobody has to explain yeah. that. If you just read the fucking TV, you know what's mm. going on out here. He went crazy. He did, he, he did that. I don't want to say crazy because I don't think that he should you be know what we mean by crazy. crazy, though. Like, he, but he went, went there. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, did, he did yeah. what he had it to was do a through bunch this of entire. Entire interview. This fed my soul in a way that the sports, the sports shows I be watching in the morning, it didn't. I was real motivated. Yeah, I was really motivated. No, he and he, I felt and I felt I felt I, I felt satisfied. I felt gratification. I be telling people that may not have made it to the level that I've made it to that you're going to experience some of the same things that you're experiencing now. And it sounds like jargon when I say it, and I'm aware of that. I know it sounds like bullshit. You don't want to hear that shit. You you want to get here and see it yourself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like you don't want to hear somebody tell you what it's like up there. Uh-huh. But listening to him, see, I appreciate it. I appreciate when people do that. When people that's going where you want to go or where you want to be say, "Hey, dog, it's the same shit." Some of that shit is up here too. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, I be, I feel gratified. Mm. Like I feel really good when I go to bed at night. Like now, this may be off topic. I don't think so. But when I go to bed now, as a multimillionaire, and I don't go outside, I think about the nights that I didn't go outside, broke, and the reasons why. Hey, maybe the, maybe Shorty's crew canceled. Mm-hmm. Hey, maybe maybe tonight ain't the night over there. Like you was trying something, but you didn't get it done. Now you're just sitting at home thinking about how you can get to that bag, how you can get your life 
to a better place. Hey, there's no fun. There's no fun happening, so I'm going to just chill. It's mm. mad nights where you think the same exact thing, rich. Mm. Maybe, Absolutely. Maybe you shouldn't go out. Maybe you shouldn't go out there. Hey, last part I talked about it with Alpo dying, energy. Hey, I'm not even dry, touching the FDR. <laughs> I'm not touching the Harlem River Drive, right? Tonight ain't the night. This week ain't the week to touch Harlem. I got other shit to do. <laughs> nah, he was talking, dog. He was talking. He was, he was talking his talk. He was. Nah, he, he, he was saying a bunch of shit, yo. Come on, let's get to some of the... Uh, he was saying... The that. inflammatory. I mean, we are gonna call it that. I don't think it was that. I think it was him just being honest. Like, why can't be honest about you dudes? Why can't keep it all the way real without yeah. y'all thinking it's smoke? He because did, everybody says But that's shit. the other psychological part. He said that about people that he had all the respect and love for in the world, too. He told us Hove was selfish. Mm-hmm. Like he, 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 just, he catered it different, though. Like, some of the shit he was saying is smoke. He came, he came at Talib and, he, and John Legend. He, well, he, 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 he felt the way about rough. all of those who went, the against way they went against him, against him when, when he, he did ran. the MAGA shit. Right. Yeah. So Not the MAGA shit when he ran for president. No, when that's he, he got up there about. on a pro-Trump shit. That's when niggas really, really started roasting him. It wasn't really about him running for president. When he got up there in open support of Donald Trump, and I don't even think Donald Trump is, that, is what Donald Trump stood for and the, 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 the supporters of Trump, what they stood for. It was more of a symbolic thing than I think Donald Trump the man, right? When you get up there as a as a black hip hop artist or as an urban black man, that speaks volumes to people. People was triggered by it. I'm I'm with Hove. It was it was just a hat, dog. The hat was a symbol. It, sim- it, it was a symbol. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that hat is a yeah. symbol. It was it's a just, symbol. I know, but in your and point, to see him put you that symbol on that him, his stance was symbolic. So I just want to make it clear that hat. It was that. Like, I know a lot of dudes that voted Republican. I agree. I ain't, I ain't beefing with them. I'm talking if about. If you're running around what? with the hat looking puppety. Hugging on Trump. That's a different symbol. It just looks a little different. Now, as a rich dude, I do understand wanting a tax break. And I do understand wanting your people home from jail. Like, they act, they're active in trying to get Larry Hoover pardoned. Let me go back to some of that, too. Him saying that me and Drake are worth too much so we would never hurt each other. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. We also not going to hurt each other because we're actively working together to get Larry Hoover released from prison. He said that. Not mm-hmm. just that. The he people said was, behind the scenes, the Jay Princes and them, said, and are not saying. allowing these niggas to physically said, harm each other. I was just with Jay Prince yesterday. I'm with Larry Hoover's son. Son. Like... If you don't know how some of this stuff goes, he's telling you, it ain't nothing, dog. It's nothing. Right. It's Hey, mirrors. not only is it nothing, I'll just use some foresight and speculation here. Not only is it nothing, you're going to see uh, reconciliation at some yeah. point. Oh, yeah. And they're going to be working we're in conjunction work, for we, some common we, goals. We've been working together behind mm-hmm. the scenes on some things. It hasn't gotten to the music portion of that. Mm. But we've been, we've been working together. Know what else I learned here? Hov and Dame going to piece it up at some point. Seems like it's heading that direction. Yeah. I, I think so. They're going to they gonna get at least amicable or high and bi-ish at some point. I agree. Some waves will be made toward progression mm-hmm. and I, not division. I thought that was an astound point that he made. Again, just trying to get into his shoes when he said, that's what they've. That's what the people in power have done to me my whole life. Just divided people around me that we needed together that loved me. They it took my so. mom away from my dad. They took Hove away from Dame. Mm-hmm. You think I'm gonna be that person moving forward? I'm gonna bring everybody <laughs> that I can together. I like that shit. Me too. I love no, that I shit. You know how many people out there I've brought together that pretend to hate me. <laughs> Like, honestly, there has to be something said for the person that puts the minds together. He went further in case you missed it. He said, yo, that room, <laughs> that room, it was it was me, John Monopoly. It was uh, Virgil. It was Shorty that worked here, him that worked here. I put together this room of minds greater than, greater than all. I'm not that great. But there's something to be said for me, the person that can put those minds in a room and get it done, which is what he was trying to explain to the Balenciaga dude. Yeah, imagine that. 
See, the people watching don't know. I know y'all don't know because I came out and told y'all all the money I was walking away from and I saw all the things that y'all said. And then I came in here and said, yo, do y'all know what I'm trying to do? Because <laughs> if you know, I think the responses would be like a little different. It Go up to somebody's house. It won't. I told them, no, I'm just telling you what I told them. And they told me I was stupid and shut the fuck up, Joe Budden. You're an evil ass nigga. We don't want to hear from you. But I told them to understand what I was saying. Go to somebody's house. Go to someone's mansion. Ring the bell and ask for a piece. Ask for a piece of their home. Try to get a piece from them. Then you would kind of understand. So when he said, again, breaking really complex things down to a kindergartner. So when he said, I'm talking to the Balenciaga dude and I'm trying to explain to him the value of my pull. Not your brand. The pieces I Pause, right? Were. Pause. Pause. It, what it said to me was, yo, dog, every conversation I have with the people I'm supposed to have them with is me telling people brands that are the most successful in the world how i can be of service, service. Mm -hmm. and my value. value my value to them and when he said it a hey, white folks not might not get it but as soon as he said my pull i understood exactly what he was saying and he went further hey the people see me and kim in balenciaga and then they go to the store and they say hey we don't see that stuff yeah because if you go to balenciaga you want me to tell you about what you'll see at balenciaga I won't. I'll tell you about my last time in a, the Balenciaga section of Birdo. I went to all my favorite brands, and Balenciaga's were a favorite of mine. But then I walked by them, and right in the front, they had this big, stupid, goose-down astronaut jacket for five grand. The big, super fluffy, it made you look like some shit. And I said, I like what? that. I like that jacket, though. <laughs> I know you like it. I like you that said jacket, though. You said something. Uh, the first you time said, I seen you, it, you said, that was yo, months ago. I was you like, said, yo. yo I would smoke this shit. I like that jacket. I said, oh, we need another pull. No, we know it's going to happen. For 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 months, Balenciaga been putting anything oversized in front of our faces expecting for us to buy it. We looking for this. We looking for the sauce. And if your pull ain't it, even if you make it, if your pull ain't it, then you should find value in the guy that can that get can that going. That, uh -huh. that is that is the conversation True. with powerful black people and powerful white people because of the history. And he went into that too. He went into a lot of shit, man. A lot. I know because my brain functions weird and it took me to rewind, listen, dig back, look at his face, his hands. Yo, you know what it said to me that that nigga did an interview in gloves? What did it say? Please tell me what it yeah, said. Yeah, I didn't get that one. It was an extension of him telling us who his peers were. That's what it was for Joe. So, you ever watch the murder docs, First 48 or anything? And the dude that has been planning to kill his wife for the past eight months just forgot to wear gloves? And we got him. He was meticulous everywhere in the murder, but he didn't wear gloves. And that's how, yo, so we traced him. He smoked a cig, he dropped it, he dropped it, and he went on about it, and then we, then we got him. Hey, I think that was, damn, I, I watched so many docs, I don't even remember. But it was one doc I watched where they took a civilian and tried to get him down with the jewelry heist. They plotted it for months. The civilian dude went in there, sat down, spoke to the jewelry girl, pulled out all expensive wedding rings, and ran out. But on the run out, when he planned to grab the door with his sleeve so his it's prince print, didn't get the there, door. he was just full of adrenaline. So he grabbed the door, and then they found the print, mm -hmm. and then they traced it to him. And, he ran and then you know he, he planned this for a year. And I turned my TV on. And Kanye sat there with gloves on. It said to me, you dealing with somebody who just thinks different. No, you know what it's like. I'm not leaving my print here. I wanted to see what you was going to say. I can, you, I'm not, not only am I not leaving my print here, but light my blunt for me. You know what I wanted to see? So Go ahead. My man, my man um, 
a kid I used to fuck with. He's a comedian, right? He's funny as shit, dope comedian, right? And um, he had a meeting, and somebody, another veteran comedian in New York City, said he was disappointed by Eddie Murphy. Because when he met Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy basically refused to shake his hand. Like, he acknowledged him, he kicked it with him, but he wouldn't shake his hand. Okay. And a lot of people, when you get to that certain level and that certain plateau, niggas be big on energy. And the transference of energies, Mm -hmm. right? And a lot of times, being in somebody's presence is one. But when you physically touch somebody, this nigga's very well studied, bro. He broke that chakra shit down and started talking about how the 808 is sending the lower form. That's the only thing I like about the interview. Don't don't diss 808s. Well, look, look, don't diss 808s. Real quick, but he he didn't. Before you (laughs) you change that point. I didn't get that he dissed 808s. I I didn't even put two and two together until you said that. But one thing I've noticed, if you look at all of them Rock Nation brunch pictures, anything with Hove in it, his hands is always in his pocket. Bro, a lot of people. I always was saying that. Like, I'd be like, yo, hold don't want to touch you, niggas. Like, yo, every time you see hold, his hands is in his pocket. Refuse when he's around to niggas touch like that. Strangers. I yo. promise you, dog. Like, they, when you get to a certain level, coming you, back to you, you getting other information. Information is key. So, to your homeschool point, when you start getting a certain level of money, your information is. You think Blue Blue Ivy's learning what our kids are learning in school? No. Get the fuck out of here. The information that there is available is different. He got different information. But the point that you want with gloves energy, from that but, one. The, but the point that you want with energy, that's my example of the print. I'm yeah, not, I, I'm, I got it. I'm not leaving a print. Mm-hmm. When I leave here, my presence is gone. And actually, he said that too. He said, "Now is the quickest moment of our lives. Mm-hmm. Look, just that fast. That now Yesterday is gone. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone already." He went further into that thinking when he kept saying, yo, they're going to kill me. But guess what? The interview's done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was like, if well, I leave, if I right That after was this, such a die. simple sentence yeah. that wasn't simple at all. Yo, it might be up for me. But it's done. <laughs> Look, that just now is there. It exists in time. The dude, man, listen, man. Listen, man. That nigga laughed the whole interview. He smiled a lot of the he interview. He just felt like, listen, I'm man. home. It was good to see him in, yeah, a, in a good well, place, for sure. Real. We do an old interview. We didn't get to the salacious part yet. Like, right. we, let's do yeah. that. Let's address the, that well, stuff. I, I wanted to address the part where he talked about um, the confines of housing. Bro, you know he how smoked deep that. that shit was? He that smoked shit that. was crazy. He smoked Fair. that. But wait. The Dave Chappelle callback for me before you get started. Wait, 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 before you get started. And that's what I mean about that Dave Chappelle genius callback that he did that probably went unnoticed. He told us about why he what would want to why he's homeless. Mm -hmm, Mm -hmm. His idea of living versus societal construct of what owning a house means, Mm -hmm. right? And then, however many minutes later. He said, I got gloves on. Could you light my blunt for me? It was a genius callback right in front of our face. He tried to give us examples. Yo, I didn't have no drawers on. This is my house, this little bag. So I met the Balenciaga nigga, and for the next day, the next three days, I had Balenciaga drawers on that I didn't pay for. Yo, the haircut, the barber thought that he fucked me up, so he wouldn't let me pay. Uh-huh. But like he was get, he yo, dog. He was preaching. And when he gave the examples, and you might have missed it, he preached it on genius level in case you were reading it over there. Like, the nigga's deep, man. It's, this was great. Sorry. Let's get to the salacious shit. Come on. Big Sean, stop it. Let me tell you before you start. See, and that's my thing. You got to recognize when you not niggas. You not niggas. I don't, what I mean by that is not what Kanye means when he tells us that we not him, which I'll get to in my Just Blaze point. He said, hey, Just is not me. Look where I am and look where he is. Hey, get that out of here. I, eh. yeah. I don't care about that. Just I don't care, don't about, care that. about that. And Just said, I don't care about that. Yeah. Hey, I'm getting that out of here. I don't care about that. What I mean is, as sensitive as he may be, and boy, he is, but I guess if you expose to that much, you would be sensitive, but sensitive is nuanced. <laughs> Two. Mm-hmm. That's a different podcast. But sensitive is nuanced. I'm I think I'm sensitive in a different way. But uh fuck. What was I just going Big on? Sean. Big Sean. Big Sean. Stop it. Let's break this down for a minute. 
Let me tell you who Kanye is. Kanye is the guy that stands next to Michael Myers or whatever his name is and whatever year that is and says George Bush doesn't care about black people. Mm. It don't matter if he deviated from that and put a red hat on. It's the fact that he did it. You know he'll do it. If I seen you fight 10 niggas before, I don't never have to see you do that again. Know why? Even if you lost. I saw you do it. You did it. Mm. I Even saw you, you do it. That's who Kanye is. Everybody ain't that. And everybody got a platform today. You niggas all got socials. You pull your little phone out, you can post in 20 different places. Y'all could say what you want to say. Big Sean, you're not going to do that. He even spoke on Most that. Most people are not going to do that. He gave a Michael B. Jordan example where he was like, yo. Yeah. And Kevin Michael Hart. Jo- and Kevin Hart. And yo, Kevin I Hart. would love to say what you, oh, I can't. No, no, you can. Big Sean, there, when you meet but an you, you entity like this, when you meet a force like this, there is nothing that the likes of you can do if you try to match that because it's not originally you. So when I read it, I don't like it. I don't like Big Sean saying, and look, that energy. I'm on energy still. Mm-hmm. Big on energy. Kanye, it's different energy. That nigga did an interview. Big Sean didn't hear it yet and said, oh, he got to be talking crazy up there. Nori asked me to do an interview. Sean got to be, Kanye got to be talking crazy. You just dropped a project. Think about that. Think about that for a minute. Think about it. Good point. You just dropped a project. Think about it. Mm, Nah. Nah. Yeah, but think about it. I ain't going to try to convince you of it. You just think, you dropped the project. That's the first, that's where your mind went first. I'm not going to try to convince you. You just dropped an album with the hottest producer in the universe. You didn't even hear what was said. But you got a good inclination. Something might have been said. It's industry, though, yo. Yeah, stop, you know. stop, 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 stop. I'll take it further, then. I'll take it further since it's industry. You're right. It's industry. So shit get funny sometimes. Now the Kanye interview drop. And what does Big Sean say? You guessed it. Oh, I can't wait to do Drink Champs. He did. And that right there is the difference mm. between Kanye West and Big Sean. Expound before Both I may reply. be sensitive gentlemen. But one, the one that's just thinking whatever, I'm saying what I'm saying casually. I got to go get with Elon Musk soon after. I got, <laughs> I got, yo, this is small talk. Mm-hmm. As a cig smoker, you can recognize small talk because niggas love that and I hate it. You go outside to smoke your little cig, here come a nigga. Man, it's freezing out of here, right? <laughs> yo, nigga, yo, dog, yo, dog, <laughs> what made you think that I want to talk to I you? I came right out here now? to get away from the small I talk, hate, in fact. I hate small talk, dog. Yo, that's what he says <laughs> all of this, like that little neither or both game that Nori thought was so monumental, and it was. But that was small talk for him. That was, yo, I don't fuck with. Uh, Sean not only that that was the worst business decision that I've ever made see I heard that and I didn't hear nothing personal he said he didn't attack that man's character nope. he didn't attack who he is who he was their relationship and, or later, or his and, and later on he went on to say Sean is family <laughs> that told you about the person you're dealing with Sean is family this is what he did Jay is family this, this is selfish this is what it is hey Dame is family, white boy, watch him out. Like, he's telling you how he move. It don't have to be out of your family pamphlet of how to move with your family. It ain't that. It may be unconventional, but he ain't saying nothing wrong to fucking Big Sean. We just in this place where, oh, you can't Did do that. Did he call him a sellout? You can't do that. You can't. He didn't call him a sellout. I didn't hear that. I think he might have called uh, I John, didn't hear that. John Legend. He said that's sellout shit. He said John Legend and, uh, John Legend and, uh, Carmen. Not no, common. Not common. I'm sorry. Talib. 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 Excuse me. John Legend excuse me. and Talib sorry about that were Demo- uh, puppets. No, he said that de- about for the Democrats. He said it differently. He's, okay. He didn't yeah. say yeah, it the he, same. Yeah. It was. He said it a little too different about Common, Chicago's own, uh, one of his favorite and best rappers of all time. Mm-hmm. He said it differently. He said it with some respect. He said everything that he needed to say. Just sometimes he said it with respect and, and a little bit of sugar coating, not sugar coating, and, and, and sometimes he didn't. It's mm-hmm. different. Like when he said what he said about Quale, uh, Quale uh, not being in the same tier as Common. Mm. When you think <laughs> rapping, he's not. He's not. 
nor no disrespect. Nor though. no, but wait, further than that, nor should he be. <laughs> Common has multiple classic albums. He does. Whatever y'all go to with Common, I'm not here to do that right now. It's a matter of opinion. But when he said it, how he landed there didn't seem like it was from the shade of I don't fuck with Quale. Quali. It seemed like, no, wait, stop. Though I have history with this guy, no, I'm not blinded by Nah, I disagree. That. I'm not blinded by that. Yeah, that was personal. Yeah. He had a little that sauce for time. It seemed personal, personal, but at the same that time, was the, the, that was not so an basic answer opinion. to the question, I think, was a respectful way to uh, common is common. Mm, it's not a respectful. No, it, it, way. it was, was disrespectful. Because that was not respectful. He let his, it was not his personal that feelings was, about him exactly. come that out personal. in that answer and saying that they Definitely. shouldn't be mentioned together. But they shouldn't be mentioned. But they no disrespect. But there was disrespect to Quali. You can say that. Talib Quali. How he saying that? But wait, I love it. He didn't say that objective. But I love it. Wait. You mean the guy that was on your classic debut saying you mean Talib lyrics stick to my ribs? You mean you don't feel like that about him? Mm-hmm. Even that was a look. That was telling. Wait, not Talib, who we all thought was like being crowned of sorts when he was premiered on your album. That was like it's personal. That was though. like running the home plate when he premiered on your album. So for you to say this, this is what I be meaning about the ultra powerful niggas. You think they don't know how powerful their voice is? LeBron, no. Exactly, I agree. These niggas know, so when they say it, they just letting you know who I fuck with and who I don't. Mm-hmm. And, the, and, the, and, the, and the fans out there are going to say, well, that was a little rough. But as somebody who has never publicly come on here and tell y'all the list of people I don't fuck with and that has seen the ramifications of that, boy, that was admirable. What was? To say I don't fuck with Telling you. Oh, no, no, you can people, say. But yo, that's two totally different Let me stop. Let things. me say what I'm saying first. Telling people about people from your past and people who are assumed to be integral parts of your history that, hey, I don't really fuck with that person like that. So some of the things you see, you may be seeing it because I don't really fuck with that person like that. And you and I have a lot of conversations behind the scenes of a lot of faces that get saved mm-hmm. by niggas just coming in here and not saying a word. Indeed. But you see the cost that comes with that. No, hey, I, stop. Don't I, say a word. Let wait, me wait, wait. No, no, don't stop. Let me say something real quick. Hey, I came out the closet. <laughs> popped right up. Now, mind you, again, I don't count my Molly years. You don't count. We were both in vulnerable places. You was young. I was young. It was wild shit going on. I do not count that, right? And she came... Right up the time. and said, We hear you. And said, oh, Sorry. Hey, I always knew that about him. Wish him the best. See, she, she said that? Yeah. See, she tried to be shady. And then I was stuck. I was stuck standing on my bisexualness. Mm. Wow, if I was bisexual, you would use my sexual preference to be shady? You the same nigga that went in the house full of strangers and made it seem like I was some violent, violent out of control thug. I never been that. No, my it's some people. See, my thing been it's different. some people ish. Mm, I didn't know that happened. It's some people that are group thinkers. Indeed. Mm-hmm. There are some people that don't have the ability to even process this Kanye interview the way that we're talking about mm-hmm. it. They don't. I agree. The trend is to see what the trend is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's why you have all of these people hopping up when Joe comes out of the closet. You know the first thing I said? I should have told the public when I stopped fucking with her. Because that would let the public know why some of that stuff is happening. Somebody else popped up said some shit. First thing I said, wow, now I see the advantage in maybe letting the public know when you don't fuck with somebody like, we try to keep it cool and classy and Michelle Obama, when they go low, we go high. Mm-hmm. But the other side of that is, yo, if I just let people know, you'll be the first to tell and then you'll Then get the they promise. would it know. Ain't, it ain't even necessarily being the first to so tell either. So when he either, said just, that, yo, I've been sitting here for months saying, hey, something's funny about uh, Wayne and Sean. I mean, not Wayne, uh, yeah, yeah and Sean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, something's going on yeah, and Hit Boy. They keep going back and forth in the interview. Blah, 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 blah. They've been saying it for months. So to finally come out and say it, see, and that's my beef with Sean. If you had something to say, nigga, say it. Don't wait until the nigga that says things 
says things for you to say things. My go. Because if not the case, then move around. No, it's my go. Please. Sometimes some people try to keep it classy, right? Big Sean just did said some shit two weeks ago, and he's like, yo, that's family, blah, 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 blah. I miss them niggas or whatever the case may Stop be. Stop it, Ish. I'm still speaking, right? So now I'm not going to throw family business out. That stays in-house. Stop it, Ish. Some niggas look at it like it stays in-house. Now you're going to get on the public platform. You're the biggest artist in the world, arguably, uh, <laughs> and now you're going to throw slander on my name. Mm. So we don't even know what Sean's going to come on Drink Champs and say. He might come on Drink Champs and say, yo. Don't you, say shit. That's not don't for you to say. Don't say a Why? fucking word. Why? He, Why? Don't you. Why not? Why? I'll spill, I'm lost at that part. I'll Why? spill privileged information. No, you don't have to. But let I am. Me, let me finish my stance. Go ahead. So we don't know what he's going to say. We can only judge him after he says whatever he says. But he might come on and say, look, dig, this is what happened. Boom, 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 boom. He feels a certain way based on X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. Right? So we don't know. Hey, go back, scroll what, back, scroll what, back. What, what the stance may be. And this says, and this is breaking news. This is from OBO Goon Life. I don't know who that gentleman is, but I'll read this. Kanye owes Big Sean $3 million and said he'd give Sean his masters too, which he never ended up doing, and Sean never complained about either publicly. He's just too nice. What if that's true? Then it's true. And okay. Sean replied and said, not three, more like six. Then it's then it's true. Okay, so now if it's true, how dare you get on a public platform, nigga, and say something about me? Fuck you. If it's true. Then I respect it. Hey, if it's true, it was true three weeks ago. I know, but if it's it was, messy if, it, if I if, get up there if, and say it and it's it childish true, and it's corny. If it was true, it was true a month and a half ago. A month and a half. If Sean says that, Joe, you say, yo, that's messy. Keep it in-house. No, I don't. No, I don't. All right. If he does that, then I applaud his method of doing what he thinks is best to get his masters back. What I will never that respect. That might not have been it, though. True. But what I'll never respect is the nigga that was scared to say a fucking word and to a nigga that wasn't scared to say a word said a word. And you know I'll what? I'll never. I'll oh, never, whoa, 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 no, whoa, 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 I'll never respect it. Sorry. I'll never respect it. Okay. I'll never respect it. Money, money, and children and lifestyle play a part in how you conduct business and how you navigate life. That is a truism for all of us. All of us make decisions based on money at some point in time. Kanye West is at a point where money doesn't dictate none of his moves, right? So we all have made moves against the bag. You've made moves against the bag. I've made moves against the bag. I'm sure everybody well, has, right? <laughs> but it's at the end of the day, still, we got mortgages to pay. We got rent to pay, whatever the case may be. Big Sean, I don't know him, never met him. He may have an agenda where, yo, I'm going to play nice in hopes that I get my bread and get my masters. I'm not going to go out and just shoot at this nigga because right. that could have no, financial no, you're right. ramifications. No, you, you're totally right. So that's how it might be why he's navigating in a manner in which he's doing. But now after this nigga comes out and publicly See, disses me. That's where you lose. And hold on. I know. That's and, where and, lose, then, and then he told no, Now I know we have no, ch- no ch- chance at reconciling. But he don't, here's here's what kind of give me have about that. For the and then Sean puts the fight. But wait, and then Sean puts the picture up and say, "Yo, we was I was just with this nigga, and I was just with you after the after interview. Your interview." Yo, that meant absolutely so it, nothing. But I'm saying it, 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 it just, means me, a lot. That meant nothing. Because if you don't fuck with me, what's up? He didn't what say that. Stop. He, he and that's what I mean about people saying what they mean. He didn't say I don't fuck with you. He said you were the worst business decision of my life. He didn't say business decision. He said signing. So that's a business decision. I know, but it could be for a bunch of different reasons. Bro, he, he said, went up, I don't, he said that was some sellout shit that him and went John up and got hold up, hold a up, hold up, stone hold up. and boarded One to second. the table. One second, because I'm stuck on what Joe said. Kanye's words, both John Legend and Big Sean, when I ran for office, got used for the Democrats, blah, 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 blah. And I don't rock with neither of them. And I need my apologies, but niggas is scared. Don't tell somebody you don't rock with me and take a picture with me right afterwards. No, you're hanging with me. And you hang out with me. Don't do that. So that's I get where Sean that's, is like, yo, silly. what the fuck is uh, up? That's silly. That's silly. I've been in plenty. Of, I've been in plenty of places yeah. where someone couldn't take a picture. Yeah. There's people I'm I taking the pictures with, with mad niggas you know. that but I. But you didn't telling rock with. niggas I don't fuck with him. I'm not taking a picture with you if I don't fuck with you. They no. were posing for a picture. It was but just he some didn't shots that say took. I don't. But I'm fuck hanging with, with you. you. He ain't hanging with him. All right, dog. Y'all got it. No, you don't got it. He said I don't fuck with him. He said that. They just quoted it. In nigga words, he said I don't fuck with you. 
I appreciate that. From, cool. from I, the love that. That I love that. No, I love that. No, I love that. I love when the action matches, wait, wait. though. And now you want to come out and tell me why love... you don't fuck with me back? No, no. no. I, just no. Love, I just love when Set the action matches. I just love Set when the action matches. You don't fuck with up. me. Don't, don't fuck, fuck with me, me then. Period. Yeah, straight up. Period. Don't fuck that. with right, me. My, don't keep key with me. Don't hang out with me. Don't poly. Don't do that. Don't me. You don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. I don't think that Sean seeing... That Ye seeing Sean at an event and having a conversation with him means that he is uh, prohibited from saying, yo, that nigga was really the worst signing I've had. I'm off that they're, signing they're part, connected. dog. I'm off that they're signing part. Yeah, but he, Sean ain't. He but said Sean I ain't. Don't fuck Sean. With him. He said, I don't rock with him. That's what he said. Fuck that. Fuck the signing. All right, yeah, worst business to sign. It yo, didn't work have out. You ever okay, changed, cool. Have you ever changed somebody's life and then seen them behave in a way that just wasn't nothing like the person Absolutely. that you know? I, I, I have. Let me talk, please. I have. I have. Mm-hmm. And even that wasn't to the degree that he began to speak on. Mm-hmm. He said, yes, I changed your life. And I've changed a lot of lives. Pro bono. On the strength, rock out. He went on to say, I changed your life and your family's life. Mm -hmm. That was him telling me, hey, times it a million. (laughs) Hey, whatever you think you did, whatever you fucking feeling when niggas did some bullshit after you did that shit, times it by a million and then see what you would say if you was nine billion up. Sunday. Do y'all want to know what I... Let me talk to Ish. If I'm nine billion up, and that were to happen, and we got to having a real honest conversation, some of the ones we have off this mic about how some of these bitch-ass niggas move out here. Huh? Huh? You know what I would say about how some of these bitch-ass niggas move out here? And I still feel like that. Some of the niggas that we talk about being a bitch-ass nigga, I still think they a bitch-ass nigga. You know what I would say right now? I ain't cutting you off. I would tell them, hey, him <laughs> is a bitch-ass nigga. It's my goal. It's my hey, goal. let me tell you why. You contradicting yourself. Tell me why. Because you just said, and don't cut me off, yo. Right now, if that's what you feel, it shouldn't take $9 billion for you to do that. You just said, if I got $9 billion, I'd say, hey, him right there, he's a bitch-ass nigga. It should not. No, no, no. Don't point your fucking thumb at me. Yo, it should not take. And that's why I love Ish. Because he's so smart, he'll help me prove my point in a way that I didn't think about. You're right. So now my new question to you is, how many times you had to come in here and stop, and stop me from saying, <laughs> you right. stop me from saying, I, yo, dog, yeah. this what the fuck is going on in here? Yeah. And yeah. it's up for such and such. And if I'm crazy and it's up, the nigga is up. Hey, roll it out. Say, Vaughn, write it out. <laughs> and y'all niggas say what? Not chill. Yeah, he, no, he right. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, so you I, right. I, I'm not no, he's right. Me. I agree with his point. It don't take a dollar for me to come in here and do it. That's what Dave Chappelle said. Yo, stop talking to me. I walked away from 50 of them, dog. I ain't like y'all. I sat in bed like I walked away from 20 or 30. It wasn't such a big deal, but I walked away from it. Yeah, you can't. If you never been there, dog, mm-hmm. you can't talk to me about it. What I'll say 30 M's up, I'll say dead ass broke and live with the results. And live with the results. I These agree. niggas think I came out the closet because the ratings was falling. I went and checked it to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I called you- Ian ass. Hey, yo, dog, come over. Come on. Hey, I know you engaged, your little cr- wife. Let's crunch some yo, numbers. Ian, you've been fishing. You've been doing a lot of shit. Do me a favor, dog, in the morning time. Come see me. Come see me. Come see me. Pull them right. It's laughing. <laughs> hey, I pulled them up. I, all the shit I had planned out to yell about, I couldn't even yell them. They was right there. Those was the, those was the straight numbers. <laughs> those niggas are scared of it now. No way. Hey. Don't worry about it. Okay. Don't worry. Look, Ice befuddled because yeah. he, he got dudes that's checking for the boy. <laughs> that don't befuddle me. He got they niggas. Can check for you. He got niggas that's checking for the boy. They can check for you. No, no, they can't, nigga. Don't send your little broke ass friends my way. You think I came out the closet to fuck for free? <laughs> I'm not here. It's not for about that. love. I, I didn't come out here for the love fest, buddy. Coming out here for the rich buy niggas. <laughs> 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 you, you, you're nuts, bro. That's all I can say is you're nuts. Uh, and congratulations. Yeah, I think I was out here with a broke fucking buy nigga. Nigga, if you don't get your ass on, I ain't here for ice cream date, nigga. <laughs> Take me to motherfucking Mr. Child. Nigga. You tell I'm old, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, come on, man. Listen. Genius. Perfectly worded question by Nori to me that whole 
Ill Will, Nas named his album, and then in the disrespect of the album, it's disrespecting a friend. How do you feel about entitling your shit Donda and niggas dissing the art, but it's seeming like it's dissing your mom? Perfectly worded question. First thing out his mouth was CLB. Telling. This entire interview, that happened. Yeah. You could see his healthy or unhealthy obsessions. And then earlier he spoke about it. He was like, yeah, not nah, uh, the Taylor Swift shit. That was both my uh, addictions on Addiction. full display. That mm. was uh, my alcoholism and uh, my need for attention or whatever he said. So later on when he got into it, it was like, yo, this dude, dog. This- I didn't take that that way. What? His answer to that question being uh, an, an addiction to, like, his, his healthy or unhealthy addiction with the Drake situation. I didn't take it that way at all. Then then you missed. I must have missed it because yeah. his, his example was, he said, no, but what happened, they were asking a bunch of football players and both of the which one, just which, which album, came and out. some were saying this. So it don't, uh, that was just the example yeah. of where the fuck Donda no, would come from. Not at all. He just landed in a place to let you know, me and Drake have pieced it up and we're working together behind the scenes to get something done. He answered in a way where it said that. But if you listen to his answer and you listen to the interview, he brought Drake up a million oh, places yes. where yeah. Drake didn't need to be brought up. Drake that up was just the icing times. on the cake. Oh, shit, nigga, we asking you about your mom and the album titling and you went to Drake. It <clears throat> says something. To me. To me. His healthy obsessions, he mentioned that Virgil shit a lot he did. Mm-hmm. on here when Virgil got the job at Louis. Do y'all, oh, know, do y'all know how to, and it should... See, we don't get into that because it's not our business and we're not at that level. That should bother someone. If you best friends with somebody, you go over to a company, come up with a fucking idea, the company loves it, the negotiations fall out, you come up with some other idea, you try to bring your friend along, but your friend goes to the company for the deal that you turned down and pushes some shit that... That would bother the average person. He just can't talk about it like it bothers him because he's not the average person. But if you listen to him talk, he clearly is telling you just how much no, it I've, bothered him. I've heard him, him say it in interviews Just before. how he much it that, bothered um, him. And, and he couldn't he show said, no emotion in it. He had to show yeah. up when Virgil got appointed. Uh-huh. He had to show up and get a nigga to fake hug on stage Yo, and all of that. He said, look how they talk to me. Virgil got the Louis deal. You got the Gap deal. What he said is, Oh, y'all don't even see what I'm trying to do. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't even see it. Remember when Stephon Marbury came out with the sneaker that cost like $15 and uh-huh. got killed? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same. Same shit. Mm-hmm. Same thing. Steph Curry with the Under Armour. Them shit's got pricey. No, they ain't uh, sure. Not the same. They got uh, Shaq pricey. Shaq and Steph. They got did pricey. The Shaq did it. Yeah, Shaq did it. But Stack it's the same thing in, in his explanation of it. But when you let that cluttered brain explain things in an unorthodox setting, it all sounds orthodox. Mm. It all makes all the sense in the world. If you're not putting him in the, next to Michael Myers, next to the white dude from TMZ, next to Joe Rogan, next to Kim Kardashian, next to Kris Jenner, next to fucking Lucian Grange, next to... If you stop putting somebody that shouldn't be next to people next to people, you could just view them in the appropriate light. You could stop looking at them in tandem, in combination with something else that tricks the, tricks the system. It tricks you. I say all of this fucking stupid shit here. Hey, hey, I say stupid shit here, we laugh. He say stupid shit. He say, hey, Shakespeare came up with 30% of the English language. Why are we talking like this? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a just really stupid thought. Why do you even think that? But if you just sit around and think. Yo, when he, when he said, yo, the only thing all of us have in common is our interpretation of what they told us time was. <laughs> Listen to it again. I hit rewind. No, nah, he different. I hit rewind. I mean, shit, I've thought before, but so. I mean, yeah. it's a deeper version of, hey, we all get the same 24 hours. But <laughs> that's corny. That's corny. Because that's just somebody telling it to sheep. That's a cliche. When yeah. somebody's trying to explain it to sheep, boy, does it hit. It hits different, man. It's different. It hits different. This has been an entire two hours full of Kanye West, and I think that it was about seven or eight hours short of what it needed. Yeah, to yeah. we could really yeah. keep going to really get because you could break down all of his yo dog. He was shooting. He was. 
He was saying a lot of shit. And he know he was. That's why he kept saying, like, oh, y'all thought I was going to come up here and try again, not to get killed? Once, like, once I, Nori I, jumped I'm here to shoot. Yeah. Once Nori jumped in and started turning it into a more of a music conversation, then, uh-huh. you know, it lightened it up. But he was saying some shit. I would and like to then, hear him music nerd out. I like that, he, though. He, he was starting to I like starting the music nerd a lot and then got derailed a bunch In of that times. music nerd shit, it was, yo, I don't even acknowledge you if you didn't inspire me. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I took. If from. you didn't inspire any of the greatest, because I'm the greatest, then why am I even talking to you? Even when they tried to make him choose between Dame and Jay, his explanation of it was very telling into the mind of, him. No, well, it's Dame, one hundred percent. It's quick. It's too. It's, he, he, it's, it's I don't Dame think about this. because Dame, think about Dame is. But I'm just, I'm just only talking about his, how his brain works. He loved them too, like no other. Mm-hmm. So for him to split it and say, Dame is the visionary, Hove is the creative genius. I'm a combination of both of them. You mm-hmm. know how great he think he is. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> even that was, yo, know, it's Dame, but it's them. Yeah, cause I'm them. He did the same thing with his parents. Yeah, he said my dad is where you see the I nobility. Any nobility you see, that rare shit that's not so spread out, it's my dad. My love for the arts and being creative and the education system and the schools and right. and community. That's my that's my mom. Mm-hmm. I feel like that when I start getting on my integrity shit. Some of that shit is where the fans start thinking, oh, he's loco, he's a lunatic. They don't get it. They don't know when the integrity is hidden because they don't know when it's applied and why it's applied. But when that's happening, it's dad, man. Dad is a nutcase. <laughs> dad is the nigga that, fam, you, do, you can put whatever money, white person, any opportunity in front of him. If, if we're not going to sleep right at night, then that's what it is. And if you thought he might have been lying, he went Further, when he said, "My dad is Steve Jobs." No, he yeah, he says, "My dad is the real Steve Jobs." Yeah, he fucked him up. Well, I know mm-hmm. how you feel about Steve Jobs because mm-hmm. you've only told me for years. I ain't mm-hmm. heard too much about you and your dad. But for me, hearing this right now, I thought he was now, gonna cry when he started talking about his father and how they he just this got right to now, a point where he realized what happened. When he broke down, hey, this is what dad was doing, and this is what mom is doing. I don't know if any of y'all have had these thoughts about your parents, but I certainly have. I had uh, some thoughts about what mom was doing when she met dad, was that what dad was doing when he met mom, how they even began talking, how they separated, how they maybe didn't get along, how my dad had aspirations of being in a band or being a musician and so forth and so on. And what a brain like his, well, y'all think my mouth is wild. What if my dad would have fucking got some success back in the day? And then I was the offspring of that the way that my son is today. Uh-huh. Whatever my son is experiencing out there from dad being a wild cannon for 20 years, what would I have been able to do with that? Like, dad, you didn't achieve it, but you achieved it just simply by me coming out of your dick. Like, he got deep. And he went, oh, hey, today my dad is responsible. He's got a water facility over in Brazil. He's got this over there. He's got, he told you some of the Kanye things that dad was doing because it's not Kanye things. It's dad. Mm-hmm. It's really dad. And you just doing the remodeled version gotcha. of that. Man, man, man. Yo, check this out, dog. I'm off of this interview because I don't do interviews about interviews. Yes, I do. Yeah, we do. I do. That's cool. Yes, only when it's like that, though. I was just going to say, this, only makes, when, this, is this has to be done this way. Yeah, this is like, different. This I is culture I shift. I won't call it interview of the year because I won't lie to y'all like I've seen all the interviews. It's like when niggas talk about album of the year. Y'all didn't hear all the albums. <laughs> y'all just saying what your favorite shit was. I didn't see all the interviews. This was compelling, yo. This interview made me wake up at 5 a.m. and turn it on and had a first take, Sports Center, Good Day, New York, Good Morning America, the view, Wendy, whatever the fuck you want to put there, whenever you put this on, this is what it is. Mm-hmm. And that's the other part that I be telling all of the companies out there. Do y'all think it's just Joe that notices that? Let me ask y'all this. Do y'all think I'm that genius and I'm that prolific that I'm the only one that notices when some real culturally relevant hip hop shit goes up there that it feeds the soul differently? I'm not. See, so I don't when you even ask why it's that, not though. going out there, but it was that. It's revolt. Black owned. Nori. Black. Family. Culture. History. Black. It's just black littered all the way through. So it, it 100%. Oh, no. Is you said hip hop. That. I, I was saying this is some life shit. Oh, no. Yeah. No, like, no, no. He was talking some it's life shit. It's framed in hip hop, but that's his issue. That's my issue. 
we framing shit in hip hop just because of classism and racism, but it ain't hip hop shit. Don't call me no rapper. Yeah. That's the thing. What do I have to accomplish? Hey, at the end of my Spotify deal, I was left saying, what numbers get you a deal? <laughs> Yo, what do you have to do as a black man to get the deal that y'all see what it is? It's there. We don't have to manipulate it. If you're not giving it to me at this point, I know why and you don't have to say. It'll just Mm -hmm. go unsaid. Mm -hmm. He's saying the same. Yo, dog, watch it again. Watch it again with new eyes. Try to watch it with his eyes. Hard to do. When you try, I said try. It's tough. It's tough for me. And I, I think my brain ain't too far off, but it's tough. It was tough for me, too, because... He has just been exposed to so much. Man, shit. I'm done. I'm done. I apologize if this was a bore to you, but I live and breathe. And I'm not I, sure I live and breathe bore it to anybody. Yeah. I live and breathe this. And when things like this happen, they should be highlighted, pointed out. Nori keeps saying, yo, what we do here is we give people our flowers. I got real pissed in bed because who the fuck is giving Nori his? Oh, word. I got really mad. EFN two. EFN two. EFN two. EFN two. EFN two. That whole team. Yeah, no doubt. The team that is aware enough to know we need security on some days for niggas that come over here. That person need to be applauded. I came in here too many times. I told y'all that big Migos incident on the BET red carpet uh-huh. with me and academics, why that really came about. Because I went to a uh, complex and said, yo, me and Ak are the two wildest mouths in the universe. And if you're going to put us on a red carpet with every artist, we probably need security. They said no. Mm, I didn't know that. That's why the Migos thing happened, Dice. Mm. When that Migos thing happened, I was trying to explain to people that weren't of culture how fast a fight can break out. In, in, yeah, or in our culture. I was trying to explain to people that have no idea about yours, that yours a little how Joe-ish some people though. might feel. No, not behind the scenes. Behind the, oh. behind, oh, yo, the public persona of Joe is very different from business Joe behind the scenes. There's mad companies that know Joe just do great business. It's not a problem nowhere. What you want, we get it done. What we can't, we'll tell you. It's fluid communication. It's fluidity. It's uh, fluidity going on there. Only publicly do we get into some of the firecrackers that go on because the public has never respected me as a producer. So when I proposed it to Tahiri on the final episode of Love and Hip Hop, it just looks like Joe, as talent, as nigger, has made himself look away. It don't look like Joe, in combination with super producer Mona, Mona Scott, Scott, is producing. Push these numbers to the moon. It don't look like that to them. I've had a lot of those. Damn, I forgot the point I was getting at. Well, now. before you do that, uh, Nori's flowers. flowers. Hold up, back, back yeah, to Nori that. Your flowers, dog. Wait a minute, back to that Migos incident. Oh, I that's just the point that, that we was on. Trying to convince or, people look, that's not of culture what's going on. And or, they went and got some on, $20 Joe. security guard that stood up 30 seconds too late. I was almost close to snuffing and killing this little nigga that was extra tough that day because my security wasn't on point. Because we asked Complex for security, and they sent a the $20 security, security guard against the Migos, the group that was winning group of the year at the time, and the security that them and Coach K and them would bring. Do you think I want to start the fight then? But look, no. Let me ask you a question. You think I want to start the hold fight? On, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold on. you hold on, hold nigga. You think I want to start the fight when <laughs> Raekwon and six niggas come in and it's just me, Frequency, and, and fucking Mickey Fax? You can't start the fight. Dude. No. <laughs> but look, do you think that this company, you know how these niggas chase the, the incident? They'd have been like, let the fight happen good. No, it's not true. Well, not this particular company. Because but then you get into you know that's, they move that way. Because then you get into and liability. you have to gain understanding mm-hmm. of these things. Liability. 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 Yeah. They don't want that fight at the BET okay. Awards red carpet. Under no condition can we have the group of the year mm-hmm. fighting with Joe Budden or any media member here. Got it. Mm-hmm. That okay. can't happen. Yo, on the Kanye shit, love and hip hop consequence. I told him on national television. I'm going to get you before we leave the building. The public didn't take anything from that. But I meant that. (laughs) I was serious. So when it happened and it aired differently, I called up the big wigs. Hey, dog, why you ain't hear that other shit? And they said, for liability. (laughs) Would you have wanted us to? Or would you like us to protect you? I was like, oh. Yo, you know he went somewhere and said I did that? Because it was you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
It was 100. It was Ice the goon. It was a bald bearded nigga doing some shit right in front of Madison Square Garden like an idiot. That was you. You lost your phone. The video, I didn't get a clear image of the, the perp. But it looked like ice. It's ice issue. It was ice and ish. It was it wasn't ish. There you go. It was ice. So I heard it wasn't Joe. Was like, Whoever it was, it wasn't Joe. What the fuck? Whoever it was, it wasn't Joe. <laughs> I said yo, liability. Violent. But liability. But liability. Nah, liability. It's big, it's yo, big business. I got tire insurance on my last three Mercedes. Is when I go in there with a tire issue, they get mad. <laughs> So I say, what the hell are you mad about? And then if they cool with you, they'll explain it to you. Hey, dog, it's kind of a fight between us and the insurance company. When we say such and such is wrong with the tire, so? the insurance company don't really give a fuck. They need to see a little more. So no, don't, it don't be a fight when I get y'all my 2500 for this well, fucking tire insurance. Yeah. Never a fight. Fuck never a fight here, there. Man. But it's a fight now if you got to get the actual tire fit. We got to mm -hmm. prove it. We got to prove mm -hmm. it. And one day I said... Oh, so insurance is to insure them. <laughs> right? If I have to do all of this for them, Fam. then this is only to insure one half of this party. Yeah. yeah. But you got to go through that I disagree. before you know that. The whole New Jersey just flooded, my nigga. You know how much flack they giving niggas on giving them that money? I have a good friend who's coming to me today, now, saying, yo, the government is giving out some type of loans and there's no insurance. I mean, no uh, interest No interest required at all. I only need a cosigner. I seem like the perfect cosigner. Good on paper. Credit is up. Money is up. Could show a pay stub or whatever that bullshit is. This is somebody that's, that's I love like family to me. Mm. That you got to look at in this instance and say, no. And then they won't understand it. Now you're forced to explain to somebody who makes $50,000 a year what the government is going to do when you attach your rich name to that and the problems that could cause your rich ass. So you're going to stay away from that. Know what that person's going to walk away thinking? You fucking fuckity fuck. It gets deep. Mm -hmm. It gets deep. Just your interpretation of insurance or laws or government or just... It all gets deep. And he he even went into that. I'm done with him because he went into all of this. No, he, <laughs> he went into just being a human. Y'all concerned with weight, racism and we all just beams of light really like he started. <laughs> I'm, I'm done with him. I'm done with him. I'll tell you what I took I'm from the him. entire thing. I'm a yeast thing. Need a round of yeah, applause. Yeah, this nigga gets, he gets Need my, he gets my, he gets my. Yeah, yeah, I'm here now. Yeah. My bad. I'm a fan. I'm my a fan. Fault. I'm you a, lost me for a little bit, but I'm back. No, no, no. I'm, I'm back. here. I'm here. I'm back. No, I'm a, I'm a he fan. gonna lose me every time he trash. See, but him dropping Donda for Joe was the equivalent of him hopping in the group text and saying, "I'm worth more than all y'all." See, he may need to do that as an insecure man that made it. Mm -hmm. Like, and I heard a lot of that as he told his story. It was too. a bunch of insecurity in his thing. Yeah, but how he and channeled a, it was crazy. No, you know what it was too. You could hear his need for. Validation and acceptance. Mm. You can hear it throughout the message. The name dropping was that. Nigga, I'm kicking it with Elon. Call him by his first name. It's Elon. It's also marketing. The CEO but of Balenciaga. That's always been him. Me up. But my even in his is, verses, but, but that's been him. But when me, his CEO records. of Balenciaga it's, came to my it's hotel. It's also marketing because the way that you get away from people referring to you as a rapper when you're sitting on the side of the court is yeah. start reminding now, them of. Check this out. I'm up here. I'm over here. Ain't no rappers over here. This ain't rapper. Like when Hove said, they no, got me in the full, um, got me on the full list, but not with the entertainers. I'm with the builders in the, the, the you know what I'm saying? I think um, the equivalent for that for me was him saying, yo, that was him with Donda. Like he didn't have to do or say nothing. Like, remember how I said art is just made to be the art? Like you see, you see what that did. Mm -hmm. Like I ain't got to describe to you what this particular piece of art is. Yo, he even went into that discussing the artist that designed Drake's the Drake album, album cover he with five the art pieces that he from bought him. from him and what the art meant and how you wouldn't. It was some dog. It was some been, animals and a bomb yeah, a, black, a black sheep in yeah, I'm done with it. Like, no, an actual black I'm, sheep. I'm done. Like a real one. And then he said he bought 12,000 sheeps. 
<laughs> Sheep herder. <laughs> He's a shepherd. There you go. It's funny. We had other shit to get to, man. But this no, shit, we yo, <laughs> there was other shit to get to. I mean, you want to do like a rapid fire topic breakdown, well, so we don't just well, leave quick, people we... with all Kanye summer la- drop. La- last important. little yay point. Are you still on? <laughs> no, no, la- last one. You last dick, one. You dick eating. Because <laughs> what I'm seeing is, it's almost like if you understand even part of what he's saying, you'd appreciate this. I'm seeing a lot of negative flack on this interview. Yeah, because oh, what's going to happen? Fucked me up. I didn't expect to see it that much. Ice. If niggas only know regular math and you start talking about calculus, you're going to fuck them up. Niggas that know algebra are going to be like, uh, the niggas that went up the next level. You get what I'm saying? Like, you only go on recognize and appreciate from your level of understanding. And people, you know, the, the way that people chop up the, the clips, you know? People love Big Sean. People love Just Blaze. All, all Just that Fire. Too. People love Talib Kweli. So they get this snippet that and now true. fuck Kanye. And that's what I said. I didn't we like didn't touch too much on the Just Blaze stuff. I cannot. Just Blaze changed my life. I don't really know how to receive that. Shout out to Just. But always. I get what Ye is saying, I guess, if I'm looking at it through his lens. See, but even that, like you disclosing things that the general public wouldn't know. We just know how Blueprint turned out. Uh-huh. We don't know that you did the first half and then somebody else came in and might have heard some shit and might have mimicked and then you feel like it's a mimic and now every song played from the Blueprint is PSA and all the Just Blaze records and you're looking at it like, oh, dog, I respect that from him. Could I say it? No. Could Bink say it? Maybe. Could I say it? No. And even sitting home, I thank God, hey, if Just Blaze is a biter, I thank God he is then. He's not That's a biter. me. And he didn't call That's him a biter. He, he called him a copycat, which I guess What's is a sort of, biter. a biter. Sort of. But a you could also say that Kanye is a copycat of RZA in him. So, I mean. No, you can't. It, no, yeah, you can't. can't. Yes, no, you can. can. He got his style from RZA. He expanded on it. He has a okay. seven and, and zillion just Blaze styles. expanded on the styles yeah, of Bink and, and... That's why I disagree with Kanye that. don't yeah, have one style. Kanye don't have the a style. The style that Kanye came in the door with, that, that got him to... It's the same thing that he's saying about Just Blaze. The blueprint got Just Blaze in the door. The same thing that got Kanye in the door was a RZA sound. It was. We don't I mean, have to argue about it. that's a possibility. It. He's done interviews saying, I wanted to make a Ghostface album. No, I believe you. What I'm saying well, he is, said he don't got... said, I wanted to be the hitman. I wanted to be this. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to be kids. I wanted to be... I want, yeah. So I get that. But what you turned into is what I look at. And when you do that, no, you can't compare Kanye to the Riz or anybody he might have emulated. Or, or he no, might have... And, and, and you also from. can't compare Just Blaze to Mink. If you took the thing well, and expanded I, on it and made it your own thing, I'm sorry. I'm going to keep my... Me too. None of my business. Yeah. The argument I disagree exists, with you, but I'm just saying that. I, Everyone I'm saying somebody would disagree with that because there's no clear-cut argument in, in that. Somebody could say, no, you didn't expand on it, Just Blaze. You're doing a variation of my shit still. And that's what Bink has been saying for however many years. I won't talk about it because I have too much respect for Just Blaze. Mm-hmm. Like, I, as I've said to Bink, yo, Bink, what do you want me to come in here and say about the guy that changed my life? You want me to come in here and say that he's a fucking copycat loser? No, I won't because integrity. Mm-hmm. But if you would like to, then fucking do, do you. But Bink would argue that no, just didn't deviate too much from that. And Kanye, no one could argue that. No one could argue that. Yeah. Hey, Kim and Kim and Nikki, no one could argue that. Yes, she got it from her, and then she and he she t- it. No, she, she might have got a little bit from Kim. No, she got a lot from a Kim, lot of bit. She no, no. added a lot. No, no, look. She might have got <laughs> a lot of bit from Kim. She might have took a little bit from this person, a little bit from Jean Grey, a little bit from her, a little bit from her, and made the 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 the. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, the, like I heard a nigga last week. Yeah. I heard a nigga last week. He was trying to argue against Kendrick, and he was like, "Yo, if you take the funny voices away, then I mean, what do you really have?" And I'm like, "Shut up! You can't do that." <laughs> You can't say if you take away, if I take away Kobe's jump shot, if we take away fucking Mike's fade away, if we take away, what are you talking about? Don't take away one of my strongest tools and say, now compare me. No, you don't because of that or that or that. I love that Kanye point of, because I feel like that watching the field now, again, maybe that's my narcissism, but I love that point of, yo, I had to sit back and just reflect now because it's niggas doing yay greater, not as one person, but in combination. Travis Scott's doing this, Kendrick's doing this, Cole is doing this, Drake is doing this, this person's doing this, and this person's doing this. Mm -hmm. As one person now, I got to sit back and rethink of how to retool and come back to the game. It tells you how he's thinking. It was an extension of, yeah, I'll do verses, 
uh, put me up against everybody. Yeah, I need a group. Anybody. I, 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 I need a month. Group. Get four people. So I need a month. Get, get four of Put me up for them. against the people that make really good albums, people that make really good radio singles. Hey, he drove his point home. And if he didn't drive it home enough for you, he ended with, put me against all the Gemini rappers. <laughs> Fam, that nigga said no. You, this nigga's not you gotta telling compare, you. Exactly you got to put where Drake is. and Virgil next to me. Like I could compete with both of them at a Fam, high level. He said the like Joe said. The, do you know the, you know some Gemini rappers, bro? He named them, but like he later went on in speaking with admiration about Ice Cube mm-hmm. and said, oh, "Another Gemini, get him too." <laughs> These is people that added to his three, cloth three thousand, right? That he's yeah, saying. Yo, how high he spoke about Puff, who's a gym? That's twin. Mm-hmm. That's twin. I was like, yo, this guy is really into the Zodiac. <laughs> <laughs> but but this is how much of a narcissist he is. He's not really into the Zodiac. He's into the Gemini Zodiac. <laughs> yo, I, I, I can relate. Yo, dog. That's the only dog, shit I care about. He's not. I'm out. I'm done. I agree I with that. No more I agree with that 100%. I have no more I don't care about none of that shit. But anything. the Gemini. I was I got it I got at least another forty five minutes of Kanye re- recognizing that Tata will never look at him in a certain light, but I'll save that for another mm. time. That was deep for Joe, but go ahead. That is deep. Come on, moving right along. What new else? Music? What else we got? New music. New, new music. music. New music. New music. Summer Walker dropped. A lot of the boys in a frenzy. Hey, this wasn't to get y'all in a frenzy, niggas. What are y'all doing? <laughs> Let her get her shit off to London. Sean Garrett, round of applause. This is one of the most millennial. This is like the millennial love love story. This this is OLS London five. London produced a, half the album. This is this is OLS five, OLS six. She no, really it is. It's a different off. level when the person that you're talking about in all the songs made the music. That's crazy. I haven't read all the credits. London did half the album because I'm sure he was working on the album when they split. Maybe so. And that's why this is dope. That's hard. It's interesting. And for them to call Sean <laughs> Garrett in right after that, like, you know that we can't play around with this brand. For me, I got to listen to this album again. I've heard it once. It's really good. It's not as good as her debut, but it's really, really good. And the songs that I love, nigga, it's dumb. It's dumb. I told y'all Amarion wasn't going to come to play. Y'all don't really respect Amarion the way I do. He didn't come to play. And if you know him... The fucking song is the one that he's on when he get with the songstresses. That's the one. If you never heard any of these songs, just go to his. Fucking is happening on that. She got some other songs on <laughs> fucking there. Fucking is happening. Fucking is that happening. If Amarion just pop up <laughs> randomly on the feature, it's about sex and putting that work in. <laughs> and then the song is called Screwing. So, yeah. <laughs> Y'all gonna make me play in Amarion sleeper. Like, <laughs> if you don't know about him, that's all he does <laughs> is make... Those when he not pop locking and jocking around. <laughs> that was hard. Yo, scroll up for yo, a little bit. Scroll up for a little bit. Right that there. Again, yo. That constant bullshit record went immediately in the playlist. She got some joints on here that's just crazy. Unloyal, Ari. I'm going to get to this again. Hopefully with uh, women or men around. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to get to this. I am going to get to this album. Do you light a different scented candle? Uh, Do you light a different scented candle oh, depending on the company? No, no. Nah, nah. Baccarat when the girls come over. Oud when the guys come. A little oud. Little. Yeah. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I can't stand you, son. Kickback just got a little more interesting. <laughs> Some more options. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't get to hear this album, man. I was at track three when I got the text. Of Joe saying, "Yo, Silk Sonic's back. Watch this, um, yeah, interview." So I just cut everything back? off and I'm ran back. to it. What did it? New song. Yeah, new, new, song new, new single. Is it good? Smoking uh, out the window. Yeah, it is good. I like it. Play a, it. Lot, a lot better than the uh, skating. Than skating around. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, me, me farting for a minute in a row is better than skating around. <laughs> Way better than skate. Is yeah. that what it was, the last one was called? Yeah, the last yeah. one was Kate. They this might as well leave that one off the album. This is some I'm simp cool shit right here, though. That shit is nice. That's some simp nice. shit. That That's shit what is. that is. That's simping. I don't know if Anderson played the drums on it, but whoever did was killing it towards the end. Fam said he was paying a bill, got her kids running through the crib, but she belonged to everybody. You need better friends or something. <laughs> the fuck? Travis drops a two-pack. 
Mm. It's supposed to launch the festival. That's what this uh, is. That what it is? Yeah, the festival is a uh, Friday and Saturday, I believe. Friday night, Saturday night. Okay. Bro, he came out with two records. Silk Sonic, that song sounds phenomenal. That song sounds groovy. That song sounds really, really good. Smoking out the window, you paying a rent, you tricking. I'm supporting all of that shit. <laughs> Not when she belonged to everybody. You can't get mad at it. No, no, no. Well, who was mad at it? Well, he sounded like he got some buyer's he remorse was. or something in here. He hurt. Smoking out the window. This nigga stressed. Or that, enjoying that, life. Yeah, that, that, that sounds like, sound like enjoyment to me. Oh, okay. Smoking out the window, I be having a blast when the window go down. Yeah. Smoke it to going no, out. You got something different. You looking at the world, you looking at the water. You, this girl, look, man, he, his heart broken. Come on, my heart that you ain't right here with me. That don't say that he's not fucking that girl. That says, I didn't say that he's not fucking the girl. He well, said, now he, I got to give you back to the city. He's still fucking-ish. I know. All right, man. So I'm rolling the window down, lighting up the design. The design no, this nigga is smoking. She went to uh, Newport 100. Oh, a Paul Mall. Yeah, the fuck <laughs> is you talking about? This nigga know. going through it. That nigga nah. smoking a Paul Mall. I think that, uh, thank God there's only nine songs in this album. Because after listening to this beautiful art right here, this shtick feels like it will get tiresome to me. Yeah. I don't want to hear all this bullshit. <laughs> No, they like, would definitely take off your have, little bell bottom, yeah, your fucking they would have butterfly to change the whole, collars, yeah. all songs like can all have the little that 70s old, vibe. yeah, yeah, take yeah. The, this take was the cool. filter off all of this yeah, shit. Yeah, good. yeah, y'all got to stop. See, because if y'all do this one more time, I'm gonna wish that when I heard the Bruno Mars Anderson Pack collaboration, that I heard more Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack. Like I have enough temptations, like I have it. I have the OJs, I got the Isleys, sure. I got Marvin, Sam, I got anybody you want to name from back then, and they don't do that then better than them. Now, I like it. I like that shit. But y'all got to relax. We'll see. Because then what you going to do? You going to do this again? You can't do it. If Silk better. Sonic comes out, it's nine of these songs with that old feel, and it's successful, you going to do this again? Mm, I don't know if they would, because Bruno's Bruno. He creative. This yeah, is what I'm hoping the though. Joe Budden podcast, be a one-off, please. The Joe Budden yeah. podcast is creating a petition to keep ASAP Rocky far away from Rihanna's studio sessions. Please sign it. Please sign it. Why do you think Rihanna got studio sessions? Please, please, or please. He might need to be sign in the it. studio. No, 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 no. If she's in the studio, no, you don't need to be there. No, 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 no. And you know what women do? I don't think she's in there. You know what women do in the name of love? Like, oh, come on, I'm right over here, man. Come put a little anthem on my hair. Hey, no, come on, do that shit that you did in 2012 now. I thought you was going to say keep him away from somebody else. No, Ferg. Ferg's smoking right now. Don't Don't come near him either. Well... Nothing I've seen from ASAP Rocky says he's trying to find Ferg. I'm just I, nothing I've seen from ASAP Rocky says hey, he wants to find a studio. Hey, you guys, there's a few of you niggas that have been besties that I ain't seen together in years. I have questions, but I don't ask out of respect. <laughs> there's some more. There's some more out there. Why'd I say I follow so, niggas man. on Instagram. I ain't seen you niggas. <laughs> Y'all was like this. Relax. <laughs> I man. see that is all I'm saying. Why they won't oh. tell us why they don't hang together anymore? Like Kanye said, you gotta just come out and say, I don't fuck with you. That nigga Ferg signed to Rock Nation, cut his hair off. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, another bald nigga in the game. Oh my God. ASAP Rocky, please don't contaminate no Ariana songs. Please. Please. <laughs> Just love her from home, nigga. All right, forget it. Ain't no Rihanna songs coming. That part. <laughs> like, accept it. I'd rather that than in fact have a, <laughs> her and ASAP Rocky fucking duo on the scene. Let them niggas duo in the mirror. Like, who who dressed the best or something? Yeah. Little, stay, yeah, yeah we I, good. I don't want to hear none of that shit. I'm, I'll cut Kiss It Better off as soon as he come on. Stupid, yo. Because <laughs> he keep trying to appear, please. All right, forget it. Come on. Come on, what else, man? What else dropped? You can't trick me. I'm not fucking yeah, with that you. That nigga bro. bought a little bu- bumble bubble B fucking oh, whatever that shit is. He bought a bunch of them shits. Come you on. Man, you made Posty? Posty drop a weekend? Hmm? Post below. Did that you hear this? Is it hard? It's kind of hard. Okay, give me, give me a little give bit. A Come little on now. Y'all give y'all me y'all some. Y'all know Posty's that dude, man. Come on, man. Oh, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm I was in. about to say, oh, I'm okay, kind of good. Oh, no. Oh, open up iTunes. All 
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, this that sounds like, great. This it sounds like, great. That no, sounds great. great. I purchased it already. Shout out to Post Malone. Shout out to Post, man. This is hard. It's another one. He just don't. He don't know how to miss. Who Post, Post Malone? Any yeah. other music? Yeah, Post Malone. Malone we we got him. Uh, Terrence Martin dropped a uh, album. Round of Shout applause. Shout out to Terrence man. Martin. Man. Um. That was about it. Some Lucy's that'll probably be sleepers. All right. Yeah, I missed every man. This is it was too much that happened in a short amount of time from midnight to us recording. Yeah, I just got lucky. I was up. I was like, come I, on, dog. I was up. My wife was asleep, so I had time. See, I, I Call of Duty dropped at midnight. So. Uh, the nerd had to win. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Not listening to no music when the new Call of Duty dropped. Sorry. You don't play no music while you play the game? No, I got I need to hear. I got the headphones on. I need to hear where niggas coming from. Are you really got, yeah. immersed? Nah, it's just when you gaming, like when you really playing like certain shooter games, you want to yeah. know where the shot coming from. Damn. It's 3D sound. So if it's nigga over here, I don't know where to go. You could tell that from the Yeah. All right. Round of applause to you guys for that phenomenal breakdown. <laughs> Of arguably the best interview of the year and Kanye West and Drink Chance. No, 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 no. Respect him. It's yay. Yay. It's just yay. yay. It's, it's true. It's yay. So I'm wondering now what his kids' kids' last name will be. Because he doesn't have one. Nor should he. I agree with him. We don't we shouldn't run around with our slave names. You've definitely this way. been saying that for a minute. <laughs> You've definitely been saying Yo, that. Yo, he for say a the things time. seriously that I beat saying and I get laughed at, but whatever. Let's keep talking about it. What are the kids' last names now? I got rid I of my slave name. Well, they they would probably, change their names. They would have they to change, change their names. Nah, name. it could be they Ye. They don't have to do that. See, and that's what I thought that was that's why I thought that was great. Like the last name could be Ye. Like that's my that's the name. Such and such Ye. See, yeah. look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Such and such Ye. Yeah, that's North the last Ye, name. Saint that Ye says what it is. That's beautiful. That's like fucking Marvin Gaye's son or Disney's son or somebody. It's like, yeah, you just know, you know what, you know what I mean? And for him to be that close to, you know, we always laughed at him. Well, I did anyway when he started talking about, oh, well, Disney and Steve Jobs, like, shut the fuck up, man. I don't hear that shit. But for all these years later, for him to be a little closer to his That's idea. That's what he was saying, uh, though. He was like, that, yo, you can't put restrictions on yourself. He said, he don't like saying the word can't, can't. at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is ver- really ver- a mental construct will. that you yeah. put on yourself. Can't, should, all would, all could. That. Listen, man, and watch that interview it, again. Yeah, it's, it's, it's watch special. that interview again, please. Now, I've been getting uh, comments from you guys saying that we should officially retire outstanding with the death of Ronnie Wilson, founding member of the Gap Band, dead at 73 years old. May he forever rest in peace. Rest in peace, the legend. Rest in peace. 100. Confirmed by his wife in a Facebook post published Tuesday. The love of my life was called home this morning at 10.01 a.m. Please continue to pray for the Wilson, Bullware, and Collins family while we mourn his passing, she wrote. Rest in peace to the legend of God. We're going to play this because why not? Yo, and even later on in the interview when Kanye got into, he got into a lot of numerology. He just didn't say numerology. Mm, okay. Oh, when he was talking about like the uh, similarities between numbers and stuff numbers like that. Numbers yeah. and what they mean when they appear in your life. Uh-huh. And he said you have to pay attention to it. He got deep. He just was he didn't get he that's the scary bar. He didn't even get to where his brain really nah, could go, go. cuz he was talking to us. Got to reserve himself. And it go Shout out to all the black people at the cookout. All the white people to put raisins in a potato salad. <laughs> and I disagree with the fans. They putting apples in that shit. They putting apples in a potato salad, too. Also, before I go, white people on TikTok, you have been seen. What y'all are doing with baked macaroni and cheese is egregious. Y'all should be arrested. A citizen's arrest should be made. Against some of the white people TikToking the white version of baked macaroni and cheese. These niggas are slicing tomatoes and putting them on top. What? You want me to show you? No, no, no. no. We good. Thanksgiving is coming up. They're, Big they're, Mama, they're, they're, just pass the they're, fuck out. Their rule is different. The noodles they use different. Everything about I it is some different. Shit where they put just milk in it and like. 
And but white it, people, uh, y'all think because the blacks haven't reason. organized and gotten together, right? Fucking y'all man. think that y'all could just take great shit from us and white it. it. No. <laughs> y'all can't do what y'all are doing to bake mac and cheese. If no one's going to tell you, I will, as a coleslaw lover, some of you evil whites out there in a practice of division have caused me to argue with some of my black counterparts this week. Why are you pointing at me? <laughs> not you. Not you. I meant that way. Not you. But black people have been arguing with, arguing with me because I like coleslaw. You see how I'm looking at you when you said you're a coleslaw lover? Where's your family from? Aiden, North Carolina. You lying. Aiden, North Thank Carolina. You. you serious? Thank my, you. My grandparents, what, why, why my mom's you, why you side. Think, why yes. you think he lying? And my father's from Jamaica. So his whole family's, family's from there. Oh, because you can't. Oh, I thought. Yo, you, anyway. Um, I thought because you can't possibly not like coleslaw. Yeah, I like from coleslaw. The Cal- Carolinas. Oh, good. oh, you one of them uh, New Jersey ties Carolina guys. <laughs> New it's like yeah. the Americanized Canadian. You you're one of you one of those. Coleslaw, fam. I know, but then I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to real niggas. You don't eat Popeye's coleslaw? Hell no. Because he grew up on white people coleslaw. No, he didn't grow up on no fucking coleslaw. Elizabeth. Well, you grew up on different things. The multiplication sign was a dot by the time you got to school, right? No, I'm, I'm not. I don't have the new <laughs> math. Fuck out of here. Nah, I don't have was, the new math. He didn't Fuck get out of here. Y'all not going to hit me with the new math. That's what happened. It's a star for you. Nah, I'm going to the nigga. I'm a little star. I got you. It's a star. Yo, it's a dot. We old as hell. No, it's a Now, how is it not an X? Yo, we want to really go there. How they take a planet away? They Yo, did. you know what I was thinking? When, I'm still that. not over that. I'm never getting over that. I gotta teach and they my put daughter. It back, took it away a couple times. I gotta, I, like. I gotta teach my daughter eight planets. I'm gonna get off of Kanye, yeah, but I'll give you all this. I'm off, I'll like, give you all this, and I'll go. I've said this before here too, and all of y'all laughed at me, bitch ass niggas. All while Kanye was talking, I had a good 45 minutes laughing at y'all back in the day that went home. To write your homework out in cursive. <laughs> Idiots. Yo, yo, can we end the fucking pod, yo? No, 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 no. Not before I cursed them out. <laughs> Not before I cursed them out. They all said, Joe, why'd you drop out? Uh, because of cursive and lunch outside of school. Whose idea was that? Hey, let them do what they want for an hour and come back. <laughs> you went to a school like that? <laughs> I went to a school like that. And they ended that shit hey. quick. Yo, do they do that today? I don't know. I don't know. Hell Probably no. Not. Hell school. no. The school. Ish. They didn't do that in my hood. What, they didn't do that shit What shit. type of weakling did you think I was to let me out of school and for an hour <laughs> and go back to the school? <laughs> Honestly. They didn't do that. Think in my about hood. it. All right, so once we get that out the way. They tried to make you learn to write in cursive. And when you said no, they tried to give you a bad grade for not doing your essay in cursive. Yeah. Broke-ass teachers. <laughs> you fucking teachers without foresight. Do you, you, did y'all not have the vision? Of what? Print? Of the fucking future. <laughs> of print? Of the fucking future. It's, what do you think? It was going to be a cursive button sitting right there? Uh, the cursive S. Let's waste time with all those little racy lines. Yo, Instead of this, really quick, I'm out. This is how you know Kanye was bugging. He thanked Dead Prince for a song he got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. He sure did. Why he was bugging? He said he ain't dead. He said Prince gave He him. said, no, this is why he was bugging. And not bugging, but this is why you know he's all. He said... Yo, and that's why Prince gave me that record. Nori was confused. He was like, wait, Prince gave you a joint? It's like, yeah, man, that's my Gemini brother. He's with me right now up there. He's giving me joints. You don't hear that? Guess who's gone? And as soon as he said that, I was like, oh, I hear that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, duh. Dead Prince fucking just came, some shit. Some came files. and sent you a joint. <laughs> I want one of those. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck with you like I ain't hear it. I didn't get it. I ain't get it. Come on. We out of here. You eat too much I'm going. Food. We got shit to do. Shout out to the Doobie Brothers. This is what a fool believes if you never heard this record before. 
Also, if you never heard this pod, all the songs in the front and the end and during are played played for a reason. <laughs> Might be new listeners. He came from somewhere. Hey, hold up now. Y'all want to thank y'all out there for listening. Keep us in your prayers, Lord News. We need to be there. Let's sing along together, though. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Hasta la vista. Riva Dirty. So long. Goodbye. Life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Now, it go. <laughs> Fam, why the fuck you keep looking at me? You want you supposed to fill it a blank. Yo, again, shout out to the LGBTQ community. It's always love. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And thank y'all for the love yesterday. Fuck these straight niggas. Last but certainly not least, do remember the baddies are insecure. The closed-minded women want you to teach them things. The stagnant women want you to travel. And the young bitches want you to stop calling them young. Don't ask. <laughs> they get so offended. Hey, what is, why are you calling me that? Because you were born after Illmatic, bitch. Shut up. Yo. Last thing about Kanye, I promise I'm getting out of here. At the end, he repeated at least 10 times, that's my family, Hulu. That's my family, Hulu. That's my family, Hulu. Again, these megastar billionaire clutter thinkers telling us what's going on without telling us what's going on. Is there some type of beef or something happening with Hulu or Disney? He said something. He sent the shot to Disney, too. Hulu, Disney. Well, Disney owns them. Mm-hmm. He's talking to them. He's but why is he talking to them? Are they about well, to showcase his family in a light that he doesn't agree with? Is he in some type of battle or or well, what he was saying? Something's going. Him no, well, saying that. You heard what he was saying though. Going he, was, on. he was talking about like how the publicist is playing shit yeah. and how it's playing out for them cameras. And he like, yo, that's my family. Yo, like, he, this is just a show to y'all. He smoked. Fuck that. y'all. He said, yo, I hate that publicist. He did. He said, I can't stand that woman who gets paid to do a job that when we go to bed at night, me, my genius ass, and those 30 ideas I gave you that you got working out, that's panning out for the public to see, she taking credit for and getting paid for. And I hate her. See, that was dope just saying who you hate. Next week, I'm coming in here to tell y'all a list of people I hate. I got to go write it down. <laughs> I, it may not be a lot, but I'm, I'm going to come up with something. Wish me luck out there my first weekend being bisexual. I'm going to see what I could do. I'm going to see if I can get something going. These bitches been playing. Let's see what Carlos and them is about. Yeah. Fellas, I like bowling, <laughs> golf, gun range. What else do I like? I like steakhouses. I can finally have a list of demands, unlike these fucking straights. All right, I'm gone. Goodbye. New job. Enough, Daddy.